Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Quick. Yes. Launch. Let me adjust the volume real quick. There we go. Hang on, Rampa. <laughs> okay, maybe turn it down a little bit. Turn it down. There we go. That's better. Let's, let's hope it sounds good. Jesus. Cheers. You know, it's funny seeing the whole cast of this Dicky Damn game. Yeah. Four, knowing four of them are dead and one of them is horribly injured. It's kind of ironic. It's like a trip down memory lane, but then you remember that they're dead! And between you and me, I hope a, I hope a certain character actually dies. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is because I think you should you should know what it is if you've watched my streams before. That little midget needs to. Oh Jesus Christ! There we go. Much better. That little midget needs to fucking get some soap in her mouth. So far, no friends willing to greet me. Sonia! Hi. Good morning, Sonia. Huh? Huh? Hajime? Get back! Who do you think I am? I am sorry. Uh, uh, that was unintentional. Is it okay? Please, be your usual self. I yeah. That was close. I was really going to kneel before her, but... Um... Uh, wait, why would you kneel before her? I'd be more concerned as to why she's so... Hostile? I'm terribly sorry. I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. It looks the same. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed. I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-ta. She looked like she normally does, but just as I thought, Sonia and I were worrying about the same thing. Is Fuyuhiko really... He's gonna be fine, believe me. No one, no one in this game ever dies unless they're murdered or a murderer. I'm still suspicious that something might be underneath here. Very curious. Well, let's go, I guess. Hello, Chiaki. Morning, Chucky. Hey. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay up. I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Hmm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately con concentrating on her game. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by being completely focused in gaming. Or is it just me? I'm pretty sure that's just you. Oh, Odino, welcome to the stream. I can't read that. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm, re I'm really sorry, I don't know what that says. Naname es el... I can't, I can't. I probably look like a jackass by trying to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Uh, 
Oh, hey. Oh. It's you. Well, Hajime, you're already here? Kyoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? Hm. I'm not acting anxious. I, I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I, I came here early. I see. This girl. There's something strange. Is he trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? I say giving it a track record. Yes, that's the case. All right. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't speak English. I came to tell the truth and leave. With that said, I'm going. Take care. Tell the truth and leave? Um, okay. Well, thanks for showing up. Sorry if I made you uncomfortable. Well, now I'm curious. Let me try something real quick. I know I'm doing something important. Anime is the best character. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, well, have a good day. Anyways, back to what I was about to say. What the hell is that? What is that? What the heck is this? A panel has been propped up. Up, it's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. How the hell? Why the hell? I'm... There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Did my hero take these photos? What's with the terrifying ambiance? And why do I get the feeling that, that the midget stole a bunch of fucking bones on the island just to make this? Is she trying to perform necromancy? I told you that girl is evil! Yay! Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration! Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Mahiru's gonna be happy too! Mahiru's dead. I don't know who did this, but they should be grateful to them, right? Can I throw her out a window now? Hey, Hiyoko, did you? Uh, hello. Uh, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Huh. My thoughts exactly. Yeah! What are these, these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? You? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo, what's all the rockets in this morning? <laughs> this is bad. Please take a look at those photos. Huh? Photos? Whoa, Whoa what the heck? Hey, 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 hey. What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Mm. <sighs> this is clearly an insult against Mahiru. Damn it. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. Uh, this is too much to actually treat my hero's photos like this. I knew it. Uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nomming. <laughs> As always, Ibuki, you're the... You're a freaking gold mine of amazing quotes. Good mine, girl. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah! What is those nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy huge ominous aura. Something like this. There's no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? Y'all really haven't put it together? No, seriously. It's just. Hey. I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. You're not fooling anyone. Huh? Mm -hmm. 
You're right. There's no way my hero will be happy with this. <laughs> she won't be just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry she'll cry tears of blood. Man, who the hell did this? No. She's wearing a kimono and sandals. She has a very filthy mouth. She's standing right the fuck there. Do you guys seriously not? <sighs> Fine. No. We'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime. <gasps> fire! Start the fire! We'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiru can reach Nirvana! S seriously, this is... Hold it. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial. So we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. <gasps> huh? Mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I... Pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. I mean, judging by the 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 black mist and the cow skulls and the candles that are literally just bones. Where the hell did she even get that? I really hope there's a decoration, because otherwise I'm gonna be very concerned as to how she was able to gather bones. Unless they're also cow bones. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Yeah, you know. Perhaps. Like them. Perhaps. Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. <laughs> if you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Yeah, revenge, necromancy, malice. Ahi, Ru's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Really? Because I'm pretty sure this is was intended to, to, to like... It looks like it was made by a cult. Right? So I definitely think... Yep, it's a nice decoration. It's a stain. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. How? You... You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> I... Is it safe to say that I hate you? Uh, I don't really want to burn it! Huh? It cannot um, be... Was the person who made this... <laughs> Ugh. My hero was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono, despite the fact that I'm a bitch! She was really good at taking care of others. Mahira is probably lonely by herself. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. Gah, Hyoko, you! I didn't... I want to make it look better, but... But unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. You're also a bit of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry. Oh, I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. I mean, she doesn't really consider anyone else's feelings, so... Is that really a bad thing? <laughs> sorry, Yoko. How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. What else could you get from cow skulls and black mist? <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into this decoration. For now. It feels like they were trying to get us to sympathize with Kyoko, but honestly, this just makes me think that they're, you know, Actually evil. No. No, it should come with us. Th when we get off this island too. It would be a waste to leave behind such a wonderful of photos. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not! We would never burn it! I would. You. What? Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! I then I'll forgive you all. Except Mikan, of course. I hate you. Oh Why? Why are you so strict with me? I see. Man, it's so unexpected. <laughs> God damn it. 
I really can't imagine Hyoko being so diligent and in earnest about something. I can't either. Who cares about that? <laughs> Hyoko was a very has a very kind heart. No! No, she fucking doesn't! She's a little gremlin who feeds on malice! Seriously, are y'all gonna let her behavior towards Mikan slide? What what is wrong with you people? That's not it. C kind come on, it's not like that. It really isn't. Jeez! Gee, stop it already! No! I will say until the cows come home. I would throw you off a cliff if it didn't land me in a trial. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it! Seriously, stop it! Don't tease me! <laughs> Aw, Hyoko's so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, you pig faced troll. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Why only me? Yeah, why only her? Ugh, I, I fucking hate Hyoko. At any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm, really? It feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. I mean, that's pretty much the, the standard on in Danganronpa. That's just like you guys. Well, Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. There's no good in Hyoko. There is no good in Hyoko. Why does everyone try to give her the benefit of the doubt when she's clearly a little slimy shit? That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair towards our situation. Except Ellie, she's a cynic. I'm a cynic. For calling out Hyoko's bullshit. Whatever, man. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? Except Hyoko. This body is uncooperative. Hmm. I have arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? What the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible. <laughs> Malice clings to Mahiru even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we don't direct. If we look directly at it! You're the worst. Wow. This is a very hopeless object. Finally, someone's agreeing with me. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. I'll destroy you! Please do! Please do it! Please do it! Gundam, I'm begging you. Do it. Actually, do it. Stand aside! I shall shatter this barbaric, blasphemous, false idol to pieces! <laughs> ah, cry me a river, you little mongrel. Mongrel, is that the right word? Shit, I just, just, just said a little shit. Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Hmm, looks like it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. I don't! I'm with them on this! Destroy that damn thing! The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing that all I could do was sigh, but at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived the peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, almost all of us, the situation was brewing, like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Does it involve Hyoko's murder? I don't see that as a bad thing. Shocked by the ocean scent. Daily life. <laughs> Phew, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Um... Is he really alright? I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if I only could have tended to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Do you just forget everything about 
<laughs> Did you, do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? All right. Now that I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So, leave the rest of me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge for you, Hiko. That's obviously wrong. Avenge? He's not dead. Jeez. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> She's flat out admitted it. Hello. Oh, hi, Monami. Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Meaningless. Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez. Man, the fun mood's over now, thanks to you. There was never a fun mood with you in the room. Huh? Did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. <laughs> hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no! I definitely won't, don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Remember what happened after the last trial, dudes? finally asked me. Hey. About damn time. Well, once again, I defeated another mono beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you defeated a mono beast, that means... Ding, 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 ding. That's right. You are now able to visit yet another island. Oh, I bit my tongue. Jesus. <laughs> so let's not live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Blah, blah. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. <sighs> no, that's the only thing we have. That's our that's our one and only hope. Huh? Are you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? No, importantly, Monami. What happened to Fuhiko? Hmm? Huh? Fuhiko? Um... Uh, you see, I don't really know. I won't be fooled. Miss Sonia... Can you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You are all part of that mysterious World Ender organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to the island, that's gotta be it. Hey! Hey, hey. I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? Huh? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally filled us in. Uh, what a dilemma. But that's the one thing I can't say. Bye-bye. Truly, this is the tragedy of middle management. <laughs> oh, Hold my God. On a sec. She ran away again. She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Whoa. You mean like Hyoko? Jesus. Oh, well. Who cares about Monami? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However... I do not think we should ex be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. Hey. But we must move forward, no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. What trap? Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What well, we can, huh? She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Mm. You are right. You are right. Fuyuhiko is will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonia. All right. Then it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. So wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the mono beasts and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me. If that strange looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hold on. Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> and any sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's up the way to a hope filled future with our very own hands. Open the way. God damn it. I can't read. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. No shit, Sherlock. In order to prepare us for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Alright. Let's -a go. I'm also going to try and... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Whenever I 
whenever I get to the end of this, I'm gonna try and uh, get all get another save file and find all the uh, Monokuma plushies that I can because I don't think that if there's a way to get into like the victims' cabins after the trial is finished because I've tried going into into the Akia's cabin every single time I tried to play this game but I can't get into it aside from that like one part in chapter one so I'm gonna have to go and figure out a way to uh, I'm gonna have to restart my game at some point start a new save file and just uh, collect all the plushies to see if I can get a new ending or something or maybe there is no new ending I don't know Relax, there's a reason why I'm walking. I went the wrong way. You folks ready? Oh, wait, what the fuck? How'd you shit twice from a short walk? Jesus. Monami was right. The mana beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then if we cross this... Cross? If we cross this bridge, we shall waste the new island. <laughs> With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear of nervousness, I felt. I crossed the bridge and led... That led to the new island. God damn it. Whoa. This is the third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. You could say that again. The residents and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. <clears throat> Almost like a bunch of folks lived here at one point. Also, did I say, say titty typhoon? <laughs> Hold on, let me read this text real quick and see if I can, like... Oh, God. Is there... Is there a way I can, like... Um, hide the text? Open help, open transactions, auto mode... There has to be a way I can, like... Hide the text, because I really want to read what that thing... What that thing says. It... It clearly says, Titty Monsoon! Ooh, excuse me. How to hide text in Don. I think pressing Q. Window on or off, so maybe. Okay. Now I know how to get thumbnails in the future. <laughs> and look, it does say Titty Typhoon. What the fuck? And not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Almost as if there's wild animals in here. It is a... Dude, what the fuck? This is not normal. I was, I was expecting, like, a lot of things. A lush jungle environment, not a desert. It looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambiance feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Dude, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that actually scared me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry I scared you, but don't worry. Even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? What? Uh, 
I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check that check them. Ah, that means I need to go check them, right? Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. I don't hate you, period. Mikon frantically ran to the other end of, the do of a dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Oh, hi, Gundam. I didn't notice you there. <laughs> Can someone clip me getting jump scared by fucking, fucking Mikon? Jesus. What does this say? There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently, it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island, so who was this notice written for? Can you at least read what it says, Hajime? Lordy almighty. Streams gonna chill heart leap, okay. Any mono coins, any plushies? Any plushies you can find around here? Seriously, I'm getting bored, and your collection looks very sparse. Oh. Oh. I just noticed the hamperance, like so like someone was trying to escape. You don't think that if there was other people here that Monokuma caused them to... to... But they only... But they couldn't escape the hospital, so that's the only way they could perish. It's just a slow, painful death. I hope not. Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> <laughs> of all people, it seems I'm immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. Is that the scar on your face? The mark of the mark of defeating the devil? I have said it too much. Forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget it. That's everyone on this island for you. Let's see what's in here. The patient room and cons consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mekon. I guess it is. Is there a way I can, like, make the textures a little less jank? Options. Win Bob, reset. Is there a way I can, like, change the, 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 the visual settings? I mean, I understand this was originally a PS game or PlayStation Vita game but my lord the textures here are so fucked Titty Typhoon <laughs> Titty Typhoon uh, if I ever start a business that's what I'm going to call it from now on Titty Typhoon sometimes this game is amazing This building with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. <clears throat> yeah, you should. I want I want to I want to see what's inside a place called the fucking Titty Tech. Is that a boat? That's a boat. That's a boat that could have like people on there. We we should probably signal them and tell them that we're all right if they're not dead yet. Come on, dude. Eh, fine. Yahoo! Glad you're having a good time. What the? Yahoo! Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. <laughs> the truth is so overwhelming that I can't help but shouting it out. That's totally it. Because this is a music venue, right? Yeah, looks like it. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. Huh? Huh? Did I just say that twice? Huh? 
Yes, you did. Huh? Did I just say that twice? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No problem. Not at all. I'm totally fine. No problem. Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm totally fine. Huh? Did I just say that twice again? Huh? Did I just say that twice again? You don't look very okay. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that face. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yahoo! Uh, Yahoo! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well. If you're if you've really taken a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me! Like, let me bite you! Wait, what? I'm tired. I should hurry up and go check on another place. Please don't bite me! I'm not into that. This this is like a prime plushy place, I swear it. Okay. There's the stage. I'll probably never have a chance to be in the limelight. Sonia! Amazing! What a splendid place, Hajime! This must be the fabled disco! Disco? See? It's, it is where hip youngsters wear feathered fans and tight clothes and they dance their go-go's and laugh at them. <laughs> when was the last time you went outside? I have no clue what Sonia is talking about. <laughs> I have a vague idea of what she's talking about, but I don't think she <laughs> understands it either. Oh my god. So this is the baton lighting control panel. Apparently you can control the baton lighting with this. What's a baton lighting? Is it this? Probably. It says staff only on the door. It's probably some kind of storage room. I might as well check inside. Ooh, excuse me. There's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars. Looks like there's a stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. I guess there's nothing special here we need right now. This is gonna be another prime place for a murder, isn't it? Or at least for the suspect of a murder. Stickers. You can see your whole body with it in this huge full length mirror. Probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed on here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. <clears throat> Blushy, where are you? There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there are also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. Like what? <clears throat> 40. There are two step ladders next to each other. These must be required for stage design. They might even be used for stuff like film projects. Okay, I guess there's nothing interesting here. I still can't get over the fact that this place is called the Titty Typhoon! Titty Typhoon! If you don't find that funny, you have no soul. I'm actually just kidding, it's fine if you don't find it funny, I don't really care. Titty Typhoon. I... I love this game sometimes. Ooh, a motel, you say. Let's check it out, shall we? Oh god, it's you. It's a small building with guest ac accommodations and a parking lot. It's supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> wow, what a round down motel! Looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Hajime's house. 
You've never seen my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. And that's a bit harsh, don't you think? But... but we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue in here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? Hey! Because I'm a bitch! You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying. Praise a fool and you make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? So... Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. What do you mean you can't really take it personally? Why shouldn't you take it personally? Fucking step up, say something! Like, just because she's tiny doesn't give her an excuse to be a bitch. She's short, not young. A rundown, rusted, and rotting car someone abandoned. <laughs> Maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. But there might be something inside, you never know! I don't like you. You are a stain on this game. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect for a crime movie. If it's just to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. Are you gonna go inside though? I thought we were, you were gonna check inside. I guess there's nothing. I don't understand this guy sometimes. Check on my Neopet. Always make sure to clean up the poopy. Electric Avenue. Looks like something out of a freaking Street Fighter game. Never mind, it is something out of a Street Fighter game. There's a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait, why this many machines? We could probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? It looks like it's best if I search around here. Yes. Yes, you should. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, that's a plushie! Huh? I've been found? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious with this shit? What is this? There's so many machines just by looking at them. I can I have no clue what they're used for. Uh. I don't really recommend that section. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure the amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there, it's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping and recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient-looking surveillance cameras, too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Ah, uh, hey! Don't get it twisted. I just have a mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, all right? We never really implied that we thought you did. No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous, because what does he, he see when he's watching Miss Sonya? What did I tell you in the last daily chapter? Stop it! He says he's never used these before. Well, let him be. He's the type of person that will eventually use them. Yes, yes, he is. I should have talked to you first. Are you serious? What are you, are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier about seeing sur being surrounded by so much machinery. Of course not. Ah, don't be st don't say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. Mm. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. <laughs> I have this unexplained conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can understand that kind of feeling. 
but why... Why do you feel so conflicted? Dude, there's all these machinery lined up here. Hot damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? Aww, man. But I know now is not the time for me to do something like that. And that's why I feel like so conflicted. Is why wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yeah. It's like if you have the hots of a chick and you want to take off her clothes, right? That is not healthy. That is not how relationships work. Get a girlfriend. Not Sonya, though. And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs. Stop. Fucking stop. That's not normal. That's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. You serious? Seriously? Uh. I see. So wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. It makes you a little more than perverted. Pretty much. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really old. Looks like they weren't they are not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. Looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. Computers! Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old-fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know. If we can connect the, to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of a pile, and turned it on. I tried to see if I could connect to the internet. Oh. Oh, it's flickering. Oh, it's flickering. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy, but I... But just when I was about to give up... The fuck? I, my eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X-File? What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope's Peak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the res reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department. It began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was con confined to the campus and the hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup de t d I don't know what that says, to tot. It seems to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to the subversive to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive move full of despair. Hope's Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put their, an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. That sounds just like the first game. It's no use. The words are too garbled to read beyond this point. But what is this? Boy, tough crowd. <laughs> Hi, Monokuma. Hmm, how normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Now hey, I'm can you react with more gutso? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my. What makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I could think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? Riots in various parts of the world? And Hope's Peak Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And? And? What's Hope's Peak Academy Reserve Department? I've never heard of that before. Wah -wah? Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What do you mean? I guess you forgot about it. Along with the memories of your school life. So, it can't be helped. 
while we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about students who survived. Is that... Is it referring to us when the rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a sec, you guys! Hey, hey. Just what the heck are you guys been talking about? Doesn't make any sense! Hmm. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense! You so you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me! Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know any important story like that. That's the only thing I'm good for is being cute! Damn it, you run away again. Uh, hey, Hajime? Don't worry, it's going to be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. I have my das. Oh, hey, Chiaki. Oh, God, I meant to click on Chiaki. There's a lot of electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All of these look old. Do they even still work? Jackie. Somehow it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electronic appliances. Jackie, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah. I was wondering if there was a, are any game consoles in here. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. Um, I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. I mean, the game was pretty low quality anyways. Eh. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. Who still uses flip phones? Honestly, who does? I mean, they're pretty cheap, so I can imagine some folks who aren't on a budget would use them, but who honestly nowadays would consistently use a flip phone? The oh, gun, wild gunman Monaco, but he has a fucking squirt gun. The wizard of Monami. Weird. Let's go in the movie theater. Maybe they have popcorn. Ow. Popcorn. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. They have popcorn! Welcome! Hi. Oh. Oh, look in the right. Look at the bottom right. You recognize that? Anyone recognize that? That's the next game I'm going to play after this. We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? What are you saying? Are you guys just for show? Look around! This is a movie theater, right? Of course. Then I'm obviously showing a movie! Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just going to say it's the next motive, right? It's like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not going to watch a movie. Whatever it is, I'm never going to see it. My goodness! And I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm going to be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than that game you made. No, no. That game was a shoddy piece of crap. But this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! Yes, we know. On this island, my word is law! If I don't watch it, what are you gonna do about it? What the hell? There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior! There's no way I'd allow it! But... What are you gonna I'll do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker. Nice. There's something strange. There's some strange goods on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth. It's a with a decal of Monami's face on it. What did that thing say? I'm sorry no. for being stupid. Ah, uh, did that catch your eye? 
It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. So how about it? Wanna buy it? I'll pass. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be up front with you. I got a lot of corners to make that thing. That's too upfront. Is this the sticker you were talking about? I'm sorry, I was born stupid. I I want that as an actual sticker. Can I can I have that as an actual sticker? I'll place it on my head when I go out in public. It's not funny and I don't understand its purpose. How half assed is this? Actually To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering miracle working priest! What? Can be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars? Don't mess with me. I don't even have that kind of money. Then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my. Fine, I'll pay it. Whoa! I'm surprised. As long as I get paid, get after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even 1.5 million dollars. <clears throat> You're the first person to ever pay 1.5 million dollars for this sticker! In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Monokuma! Yeah. But if I want to make a huge profit, that's okay! I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money, after all! He really is. You're the worst mascot ever. Here! Come on, take it, thief! And solve it on your forehead, thief! Oh my god, I predicted what the game was gonna say! <laughs> Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief! The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. I'm starting, I think I'm starting to lose my voice doing Monokuma's voice. <clears throat> <laughs> well there! Looks like the showing is over! Alrighty, I gotta collect those questionnaires. And at that moment, Monica must already coming and skipped away toward the door leading to the theater. The door opened violently and the one person appeared from within. <gasps> oh, plushy, 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 plushy! <laughs> it kind of looks like, like Monica went out of the frame and just hid there. <laughs> I didn't know the camera was about to be like moved there. Nagito! Please answer my questionnaire! Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring it was torture. And then it felt like weeks while I watched it. Hmm. Uh, um... Yes. Well, I guess that's what art is. Because it's not really odd unless it surpasses common sense. I thought it was going to be another motive. But I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled with money. Nagito is so depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. Anyways, Flushy! I knew you could do it. Thank you. I want to look at this. It's a video game poster. Hmm, looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. <laughs> you, uh, you cheeky, you cheeky bastards, you che you cheeky motherfuckers! I see what you're doing there. <laughs> Anyways, apparently I can watch Monokuma's special team, specially made movie. However, I heard the content is just terrible. I don't have to watch it since I bought the sticker, but it cost 1.5 million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. Well, Hachime, after Nagito's glowing review, do you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not. Hey, Nagito. <sighs> I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million to not watch that movie, That's I'd gladly nice. pay it. Quick answer. The movie must, must have been that bad, huh? I guess it must have.
Wait, this is that a sign? No! God, hi, Sonia. Hajime, over here! Please hold it! Sonia, did, did something happen? Well? Just now, I went to the hospital and... It appears Mikan has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. Is it Fuyuhiko? A serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? It is, this, it is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But also remember, that person is in the wind. What are you talking about? Jeez, are you still unrefined? It's the Japan's legendary medical drama. That person in the wind aired in 1984 and set the standards for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It is absolute about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Oh, hold on. Why do you know so much about old Japanese me medical dramas? <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh. Anyway, please hurry. We will be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. The patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor? I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. <sighs> Here we go. Hello there. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. Even though I should have been in the theater, but... Eh, semantics. Are the others already here? Yep. There's a, There are patient rooms lining the hallway, but every one is apparently gathered in the room in the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonia, as expected from the Ultimate Princess, she quarterly asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of common folk. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's going to be much, such a troubling scene, a worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene? I... Hajime, I'm jealous of you. D jealous of me? Hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to everyone. Great. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Well... N nope, not at all. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you've dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. Who knows? It's not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you in such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? Jeez. I don't know, man, but let's go. God, my throat is killing me. First person. First person! Oh. 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 Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What is this? Oh my god, that was a plushie. Are you serious? Um, apparently. Why is there aliens here? Why? What the fuck is going on? I. Okay. This is. This is fucked. Well, might as well go see for you, Hiko, I guess. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. <clears throat> Sounds like they're, they're all really in there, but what are they doing in here? I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. There he is! You all look like you've seen a ghost. A picture of health. And malice. Hey, Hiko, are you alright? <laughs> it's just a scratch. A scratch? Your eyes cut off! That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Well, then. 
Well. <laughs> Earlier, I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword related wounds, but they were really, they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> <laughs> You're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having the devil's luck? Is that so? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Well? Maybe Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. Are you serious? She protected him while she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes? But still. But if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned in his bed away from us. <clears throat> Sorry. Doing, for some reason, doing the voices really killed my throat. And it stopped talking. I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if we overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. I'll be the one who avenges you. That's obviously Seriously, wrong. he's not dead. Um, um, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on. Akane. Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. No. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then... <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> hey, Nekamaru. Sheesh. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However... However, I'm never going to do it to you again. Huh? It? Uh, Please keep your voices down! You're the loudest one here. No, she, she's really not. Hey! Hey, wait a sec. Nekamaru, it's my f first time. I never thought something that feels... Uh... <sighs> Read this. It's hot. Hey, hey. Hey, you're kidding me. Is it what I think it is? Huh? If you're going to heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Takamaro left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on! I can't live without it! Could you elaborate what it is? Because it sounds like you guys were fucking. With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekomaru, Akana and I rushed out of the patient's room. I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> Phew, it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. How pitiful. Humans are such foolish creatures. I think that is a foolish creature right there. Hey, Hyoko. <laughs> it's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. Well, I guess it makes sense. Yuhiko was the one who got Mahiru killed by Pekko. No. No, he didn't. It's clearly, it clearly stated that he had nothing to do with Pekko killing Mahiru. What the fuck is this shit? And Hyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? Like, no matter what it means. It, right? Still talking about it. Stop! It! Hey, hey, hey. Suspicious! It's definitely suspicious! Whoa. All we gotta do is follow them! You think so too, right? No, I don't! A fire that didn't need to get started has become a towering inferno. Do I really want to talk to all these guys? 
I think I'll just leave. Oh god damn it. Maybe it's probably impossible, but are those two in like an intimate relationship? An intimate relationship? That's not how a teenager would describe it. It's fucking dong on Ropo, man. Anything could be a sexual euphemism if you try if you write it. Hmm. Like one. But didn't you hear it? How Akane was pleading as she ran after Nekamaru? Her voice was oozing sexiness, dude. Stop! <laughs> The more he talks about it, the more he sounds like a dirty old man. Uh, I think he might as well be. But following after them is scary, too. If I ever got caught, they might rearrange my face. <laughs> Only I had more courage. Hey, Kazuichi. Those who won't run will never see the goal. Whoa. Huh? Well, it's a quote from a manga I happened to see, and it just crossed my mind. <gasps> what an inspiring quote! Huh? Right. Hajime, my eyes are open now, thanks to you. All right, let's go run together. Huh? Me too. Oh, crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. Let's go to our horizon. Wait, what about everyone else? I was trying to go from left to right. Kajuichi was filled with a weird sort of energy as if we left the hospital together. He was practically dragging me. <clears throat> All right! All right! Our horizon is right here! Are you stupid? If you don't lower your voice, we're gonna get caught! <laughs> no problem, Mel. They're already inside the cottage. Once they start getting into it, there's no way they'll be able to hear their surroundings. <sighs> oh my god, what are... I have no words. Okay then, let's go my friend. Well, let's run to our goal. It's your goal, not mine. I seriously should have kept my mouth shut. There's no way I'll be able to stop him. Hmm. So how about it, Hajime? You see anything? No, but if we keep peeking like this for much longer, we might get caught soon. I have no words. I have no words. I have nothing. Literally nothing. I got nothing. Okay. This better not get me banned. What the? Was that Akane's voice just now? Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. What the heck was that? That's a chick's voice and it sounds hot. Stop. <laughs> I'm begging you! Could it be? Are they really? Uh. Come on! Come on! Come on! My body just can't live without this anymore! Is this gonna get me banned? There's only one ultimate masseuse, and that's me! Nekomaru Nieder! I'll need every pressure point throughout your body, and I'll help you see a brand new world. <laughs> Is this gonna get me banned? <laughs> I'll blow away your fatigue! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that got me. <laughs> about it you just can't live without it anymore huh uh, hey hachme horizons are beautiful things that keep you chasing after right probably yeah that sounds right so what exactly is our horizon anyway you were just using that word without knowing what it is well oh you know it sounds kind of cool right of all the words i know that one sounded the coolest Damn it! In the end, getting lung lugged around like this just made even more even more tired. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. 
That was weirdly what uncomfortable. Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes is to stop you from, from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have any friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad and I won't forgive you and laugh, you know? They're lazy people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who is alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't know what it's like to have a weakling's worries, you know? And they like to wear flashy costumes, you know? Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have any friends. Emergency. Do you Emergency. really want to admire people like that? <laughs> I mean, I am like that. Okay. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Yep. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Cool. Uh, uh, thanks to Kazuichi, I didn't get much sleep. My head hasn't cleared up that much. Oh well, I might as well head over to the restaurant. I, however, am going to get up and do some stretching and just kind of take my mind off of what just happened. So I'll see y'all in a bit. I will be right back. You thought I was gone forever? Well, too bad. I'm alive. <laughs> Had a bit of bite to eat and I stood up and walked around for a bit. So I think I'm good for now. <sighs> I guess we're going to the restaurant now. Hey, Mikan. Good morning, Mikan. Uh, uh, Hajime. Uh, good morning. Um, it's almost time to meet with everyone at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was about to go as well. Uh, I'm so glad. I went to check out for Yuhiko, so I thought I was late. I see. You're so busy this morning. Uh, not at all. I'm only useful in situations like this anyway. How's Fiohiko doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant when you're everyone's together. I understand. Then I shall go on ahead. I guess I should go to the restaurant. Don't know where else I'd be. What the fuck? You three just popped into existence. What the hell? The. <laughs> I didn't notice you there. Hi. How you doing, Gundam? Yo, Gundam. <laughs> For you to actually greet me in the morning, I praise your admirable endeavor, slave. When did I become your slave? Speaking of slaves, Peko too was a foolish soul. Huh? I accept her desire to merely remain her owner's loyal tool. However, that's a limitation of base creatures. My four dark devas of destruction are not tools, nor are they slaves. Let's go, Jumpy. They are Let's healthy underlings. <laughs> That's amazing. They are healthy underlings and also friends, though, whose loyalty is matched by their devotion to military rule. At times, we clash over our ideals and our tempers flare. But that only bolsters our power and allows us to reach greater heights. <laughs> that is why I will one day exist as the supreme overlord of this world. Stay back. <clears throat> God, this hurts my throat. <clears throat> Just as I thought. Apparently, it's too difficult for a simple human to understand. Friends, huh? I think he's saying something very cool, but the fact that his friends are hamsters is a bit problematic. It's adorable. Don't you be dissing him for having friends. Hey! Nekamaru! Your voice is too soft! Project your voice more from your stomach! Jeez, why does he have to be like this in the morning? Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now your voice will reach the sun. Oh. <coughs> oh God, I... I... <coughs> Ow! 
it really starts it's starting to hurt to do Nekomaru and Gundam's voices. It used to be so easy. And to our departed Mahiru and Peko. You're right, and I sure heard I'm sure they heard it. Huh? I'm sure I'm your team manager. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm just a mere team manager, therefore I don't know anything about art. However, when I saw Mahiru's photos for the first time, my vulgar heart was greatly shaken. Truly, that is a splendid thing. Did someone say something? Eh, probably nothing. It's a pity what happened to Mahiru, but I will never forget how she taught me the value of art. Yeah, I'll never forget it either. <coughs> God. It, it's really starting to hurt to do those voices. Jesus. Jeez. Doesn't it feel like we were forced to meet up at the restaurant every morning? There's something I need to find at the supermarket today. Something to find? You want me to help? <laughs> it's fine. I'm just gonna look for a camera and I'll probably find it really fast. I have a camera. Oh, it's actually a toy camera. That's weird. Huh? Really? Um. If that's the case, I'd probably need a real photographer anyway. What are you planning? Hey, you. hey, Hajime, I have a favor to ask you. I guess I'll listen. I don't want to, but the story demands it. What do you have to say? Hey, hey. Come to the music venue right after breakfast. Bring a camera, too. You've got some free time, right? So it's okay, right? I don't like you. So, um, I have no free time. Fine, whatever. I'm never gonna ask you again. Good. Fuck you. What was that about? Did she have something she wanted to take a picture of? Hey there. Yo. Yo, Hajime. Hey, good morning. Hey, hey. Oh, you're looking better than usual. Everyone I've met is like, oh, like that. Bleh. Everyone else I met, I've met is like that too. Did something happen? No, if Yuriko is safe. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like I can eat more delicious food than usual. Right. Speaking of which, why don't I challenge my limits? I'm gonna eat everything in that restaurant. Even though she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks happy. The bookie! What's happened? I want to listen. Huh? Emergency! I want to listen to songs by Ibuki's favorite artist. There's no TV or radio here, you know? I'm starving to death for musical depre... De fuck. I'm starving to death for musical deprivation. Um, don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? This is going they nowhere. do, but they're only cl the classics and the usual mainstream pop. Uh. Right at this moment, new albums are plopping out all over the world. I do have the CD, but it's not the kind of music you'd like, right? Oh! Ah! This is... This is the summer festive trees! <laughs> <laughs> you must not be scared of anything if you seriously showed this to me, Hajime. Huh? Is there something wrong? Aww. Ah, crap! I seriously can't believe you don't know! Hey, hey. The song Summer Festive Trees is, like, is by the Black Cherries! Those guys always got hyped as rivals from my old man! Concert promoters would be like, Battle of the Bands, an epic showdown between the chicks and the dudes. And they always like to compare their ticket sales and concert attendance numbers with ours. Oh, really? And then... <laughs> but it doesn't matter to me anymore since I left the group. Why you? Like music, sh like music shouldn't be reduced to sales numbers. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> However, thanks to that CD, I thought of something awesome. Something awesome? Yes. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Okie dokie, Hajime. I have a question for you. Are you free tonight? That's sudden. And what time is tonight exactly? Hold on a hey, second. I'm the one asking the questions here. Hurry up and answer me. Tonight, huh? You know what? I'd rather go with you than the little midget there. I'm free. Well, I guess I have some free time. <laughs> Yahoo! Nice answer. Just as expected from Hajime. Hey, hey. Then let's see. Two hours before Monokuma makes his announcement. Let's all meet at the supermarket, okay? Yeah, got it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I only casually promised her, but I guess it's okay. I should try not to forget. I'm definitely not gonna forget. I. Ibuki. I would rather go with Ibuki than 
depth of Hyoko. Hyoko's a bitch. I don't like her. Jackie! Good morning. What happened? You don't sound excited at all. Kazuichi's playing that arcade machine over there. You could just play it together. Mm. Mm. I played one match with him earlier. He told me to give it my all, so I did, and I got yelled at for winning a flawless victory. He said I was childish for playing seriously against an amateur. <sighs> Kazuichi. I wonder which one's more childish. Freaking Kazuichi, that's who. <clears throat> Yo! Yo, Hajime, how are ya? Are you playing a game? It's rare to see you playing games. Hmm. Yeah, well, Chiaki's always into playing it, right? I couldn't help noticing. So she's letting me play it for a while. Hey, hey. It's not like this is my machine. There's no reason for me to give you permission. Ooh. You say that, but you're like the queen of the arcade machine. You think so? Really? You serious? You're not aware of that at all? Uh. Well, after getting beaten up by the, in the previous match, I'll definitely return the favor. Nope. You don't have to return the favor. What did you say? Are you saying I just have to stay a loser? <laughs> then let me tell you this. You'll definitely catch this topic, Spade. You want to listen, right? 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 You just really want to say it. Mm. And what is it? Right. <laughs> listen and be amazed. There's a street on the third island with lots of busted machines, right? I found some portable game console thing in the junk over there. <laughs> huh? Really? Is that true? <laughs> See? what I tell you? You totally took the bait. Mm. But still, it looks like this is out of order. Aww. Aww, how useless. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. Who do you think I am? I'll definitely fix it up till it's like brand new. <laughs> then when it's all fixed, I'll give it to you. Mm. Hmm. Then I'll wait, but I won't look forward to it. Probably. Hey, 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 Probably. Hey, hey. Look forward to it, otherwise I'll be sad, you know. Just watch. I'll completely fix it up and I'll make you say thank you with tears running down your face. Isn't his intent kind of off it's more than kind of off dude just want to look around for a bit I never really get to appreciate the lobby here anyways <clears throat> my throat the faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted Everyone must be really happy that Fuyuhiko's safe. Then... Um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together our information about the new island. Jeez! In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from the island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Yes! But there's a music venue! I see. I got that, but what about the clues that we really need? Clues like information about this island, or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. <laughs> In this town with all those machines. <laughs> oh, jeez. I found a clue which contained within a file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? Um. I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. This too. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope Speak Academy was already been destroyed. <laughs> huh? Hope Speak Academy has been destroyed? Wow. It's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope Speak Academy would fall. But even if it's a prank, it's not something you should be allowed to do. Damn it. A symbol of hope getting destroyed. It's not something you should ever joke about. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it yourselves. <laughs> if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. How pitiful. So basically, on that island, we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> you don't have to correct us each time. <laughs> However, it is not at all bad news. Fuyuhiko will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think that he's going to come back to us. <laughs> he's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. However, he's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. He totally deserves that. Man. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. Jeez. You certainly eat a lot without even listening to what the others are saying. Um. Okay, then. Since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. Oh? Train, you say? You hate training. 
How rare of you. Yo. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh my my! She's like really pumped up. Huh? Ha! I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. Ugh, God damn it. With that, our morning meeting ended and we all went back to our cottages. All right. Now then, what should I do today? Free time! Well, I know what I'm going to do. It's, a, it's always a tradition to do this during the first free time of a chapter. Hey, I leveled up again. Let me check on my Neopet. Always make sure to clean up the poopies. I gotta say, doing. I just. Oh my god. Voicing characters with deeper voices is starting to get a lot harder. I don't know if it's the estrogen or something, but my god, it hurts. It used to be so easy, and the worst I got was a slightly scratchy neck at worst, but now. Oof! It hurts. Mono Mono Machine, give it a shot. Time to spend all my money on worthless crap. Don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Ooh, what's that? Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Ooh, new presents. What are these? Go stone. <laughs> a black and white stone used to play Go. This game was responsible for popularizing a lot of strategic concepts. The black and white colors might also induce despair. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Mukuro's knife? A knife hopes the academy crest on it. The blade is too rusted to use. Okay, let me... I don't remember what this is, uh... Oh, wait a minute! Mukuro was like the pop idol group person who tried to kill the baseball star, wasn't she? I can't remember. Oh no, Mukuro was... Oh... No. The pop idol was someone else, but they... Apparently they both use a knife. But Jesus Christ, the fact that the ultimate... The fact that Mukuro's knife is here? How is this a... taking place before the... I'll shut up now. By chanting a secret spell, this mysterious compact mirror will transform you into anything. Even if you're a girl who doesn't stand out much, this item will help you... help put you at the front and center. Can you help me save up all my, um... estrogen? Black Dragon Blade. Proof that you- Oh, yeah! Oh, lucky again. Holy shit. I don't think that one's new, right? No, that's not new. Ooh, what's that? It looks like something from a, from a movie. Falcor's Muffler. Muffler crafted from the fur of a legendary luck dragon. It's swelteringly hot to wear in the land of eternal summer. Very interesting. I really don't know who would get any use out of that. Ooh, what this? Collapsing, collapsible fishing rod. A fishing rod designed so you can enjoy fishing anytime, anywhere. It becomes the size of a ballpoint pen when you collapse it, allowing you to carry it with you freely. That sounds very convenient. 
and also kind of worthless. Ooh, lucky. The hell is that? Ooh, more food. Hard, hard tack of hope. Emergency rations that excels at maintaining its freshness. They are often given to students at an emergency food source in case of natural disasters. I wonder why that is. What's this? Ooh, what the hell is that? Did I already get that? It doesn't look like anything I got. Oh, radio summit. A meteorological instrument that measures the temperature humidity and barometric pressure by shooting a balloon into the sky. Okay. I'm getting really lucky with all these drops. I have all my money. The hell is that? Ooh, lucky again. I think I've already gotten that one. Lucky again. I'm pretty sure I got that. That looks like a present specifically for Gundam. Probably talk to him after the next uh, free time. Hagakure crystal ball. A broken crystal ball held together with adhesive tape. The previous owner used this item to predict the future 30% of the time. He was accurate 100% of the time. <laughs> that's not only a movie quote, but that's Hero's Crystal Ball! There's... what the fuck? <laughs> now I'm sad. I want to meet the other characters again. I want to see everyone again. I, mi I miss Hero. And I can't... and... The old Biakuya, kind of, sort of, not really. Uh, I miss everyone. Let me check the map real quick. Port card map. Oh, good. They reminded you of this. Okay. Nekumaru and Chiaki are there. Kane is there. Um, Nagito's at the library. Gundam and the bitch are on the street over there. Soda's in the Electric Avenue. Sonya's in the movie theater lobby. Ibuki's in the music venue. And... Fuyuhiko and, uh... Mikan are there. Can I go there? I want to go there. I'll go here. Always check on your Neopet. Quit pooping so much! Titty Typhoon! Ibuki! Hey, hey! There's a hospital on the new island, and Fuyuhiko happens to be there. Doesn't that seem convenient? Aww. Hmm. Ibuki's nose detects the scent of a conspiracy. What should I do? Should I hang out with Ibuki? Well, I mean, I did promise to hang out with her, so I don't see why not. Invite Ibuki to hang out. Yes. That's totally Let's it. reveal the conspiracy together. The answer might or might not be hidden at the hospital. I spent time to get today getting dragged all over the hospital by Ibuki. Feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to? Yes. Always. Though I don't know if I have any good presents for her. I think this could have been like a, a Peko present. Secret boots, safety half shoes, passionate glasses. Babari is gold. Earrings of crushed evil. Hope's peak ring. Another hope. J 
Jabion Jewelry. The biggest phantom. Millennium Prize Problems. Tips and Tricks Second Edition. Tips and Tricks Second Edition. That seems like a good Chiaki present. Kiss Note. Lilianthos Wings. Curly and Photography. I don't really have a lot of presents for Ibuki, do I? Jabba the Frog, didn't I give that to Gundam? Iguana Daughter. Skullhead Masks. A creepy skullhead masks that, that appears in Time Travelers. The lackey of the terrorist skeleton are known to wear this. Wait, no! Are you serious? <laughs> God! I didn't mean to gift that! Hajime! Poke, poke, poke! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to g I'm sorry. I didn't mean to! I meant to exit! Kabuki, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to give her something she'd actually like. Um, today's training is I got it. racing. Ah, oh, yeah, racing. Does that have anything to do with music? <laughs> Hell to the yes! If you want to learn proper music theory, training yourself in rhythm of racing is a must. Music has its own language, you know. It's always nice to hear music that adheres to the principles of music theory. And it's easier to make people feel the beat as well. But Ibuki doesn't care about all that. Yay! Come on, let's go! Not only was I bossed around by Ibuki, I had to run five laps around the island for some reason. Hello! Man, that was really fun, Hajime. Uh, no it wasn't. How are you so energetic? Aww. What are you saying? There's no way you could go through a live performance if you get winded by something like this. That may be true. Then do you usually train like this all the time? I don't do it for training. Running is a Buki's hobby. I thought it was training so I could learn proper music theory. Ow, fuck, I bit my tongue again. Ow. Meow. <laughs> okay. I also like playing one person tag and one person hide and seek too. It's a lot of fun. Have you ever found an eight leaf clover by the riverbank? Aww. It's seriously so hard. I definitely can't find one at all. Sulk. Isn't that because eight leaf clovers don't exist? Hey, hey! Also, it's fun to play a game called Will I Get There? It's super thrilling. Ibuki forgets a lot of stuff really fast, so she tries to write memos of important things. <laughs> but on days I play that game, I go outside without thinking about anything. <laughs> when I do that, surprise, surprise. No matter how long I'm out, I can't get back home. I just think of stuff all the time, and after I get. I've taken a bunch of shortcuts and detours, and I usually end up somewhere I've never been before. <laughs> One time I nearly walked out onto a fishing boat and almost ended up in a foreign country. That's totally it! Ah, but something, sometimes I like to spend time relaxing too. The other day, I woke up in the morning with a powerful hankering to look at the stars. <laughs> so I just waited at, at all day till the stars came out. Impossible. There's no way I can keep up with that. What's she saying? Also, also... Once Ibuki starts talking, it seems like she'll never stop. Well, I still got the fragment, at least. After being constantly bombarded by weird topics, I was exhausted by the time I returned to my room. Again, I didn't mean to give her the mask! It's still bright outside. There's no way I should just stay in my room and stare into space. It might be good for me to talk to everyone whenever I have the time. Whenever you have the time, you say. So when do I get to hang out with Ibuki? Also, can I please look in my mailbox?
There's been a plush in a first person view like this before and I'm paranoid that it might happen again. All right. No, 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 no. Definitely fucking not. I'm not talking to... <sighs> nope. Gundam! Gundam, 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 Wrong one. <laughs> Is that a cocoon? That's adorable. Anyways. Where is he? Gundam! Gundam, I want to hang out with you! Nature, the collective will <clears throat> of the world. Indeed. <clears throat> it might be better if we ended this already. Invite Gundam to hang out. <laughs> oh, I hear a voice yearning for salvation. <laughs> then let us press on. It seems I might still be entertained. <clears throat> God. I was forced to listen to Gundam's endless delusions. Looks like we could move closer. Yes, present. Definitely. Where's 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 it. Where the hell is it? Come on. Here it is. Take it. You fiend. What? <laughs> well, rather nice. Be happy. As long as this treasure is, treasure is within my grasp, I will never forget this day. I can see it. Don't get any closer. I already know what you're thinking. What do you know that I, that even I don't know? So you have <clears throat> appeared. Now then, summon your familiar. No, I don't have anything like that. You you come challenging me many times. I thought you finally obtained at least one familiar. <laughs> just as I thought. You are just a mere human. And a strange one at that. Despite what he's saying, Gundam doesn't seem at all annoyed. Is he opening up to me a little? However, you probably don't understand how pointless this place is for a demon beast tamer. Now that you mention it, even though this is a tropical island, I don't really see any wild animals. Fine. If this place really was a normal tropical island, I wouldn't have time to talk to you so freely. Many beasts inhabit the thick forest. There may even be a rare species that only exists in this land. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me tingle. Wow, he's smiling right now. Ah, I seem to recall seeing a cow at the ranch. I'm not interested in some domesticated animal. I had a feeling you'd say that. After all, I cannot look at it without feeling pity. Huh? That's a bit unexpected. Such creatures are born to be eaten by humans. Even if I had the all-seeing eye, I couldn't change that fate. Thus, I tried not to involve myself with livestock. It would bring a calamity onto my mind, after all. Gundam understands the feelings of animals, so this must be a complicated subject for him. This body is <laughs> I appear to be getting oddly sentimental since I haven't encountered any new demon beasts. I've tamed various creatures such as the Cerberus, the Phoenix, and even the Midgard Serpent. He probably means dogs, birds, and lizards. Knowing the f knowing the fact that he tamed a pom a pomodoodle and claimed 
and got an earring for it and called it the earring of fucking Tame the Hellhound. Yeah, I can definitely see that. When you say tamed, what exactly does that entail? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's fine to tell me a human. I don't believe that you'll get in my way. Listen well. Basically, you must say, good girl, good girl. Eh? You must repeatedly speak to them and make sure they understand that there is no ill will on our end. In order to do that, you need to appear innocent. This too must of be course, the of there are some who like to be touched and some who that don't. It's better if you keep these basics down. It appears Afterwards, as long as you spend a long time together, you'll eventually start to hear your partner's words. I'm pretty sure that only happens to ul the ultimate breeder. That Gundam seems different from usual when he talks about animals. Somehow his face seems gentler. You must really love animals. Fine. Now then, I wonder if there are evil demon beasts that will rile me up on this island somewhere. Monikum and Monami are sort of shaped like the animals. I renounce you. They are no good. Anything that can talk will eventually betray you. How <clears throat> and most importantly, they aren't cute. I agree. But I don't plan to betray you at all. <laughs> Such exaggerations coming from a mere human like you. However, that's a nice line. Gundam left the area with a different smile on his face than usual. I hope we'll be able to understand each other, even if it's just a little bit at a time. I really hope he doesn't get hurt or murdered. I really kind of like him. Him and Ibuki. After seeing Gundam walk away, I left the area. It's almost time to meet Ibuki. We have we had to meet at the supermarket. I should head over. Ibuki! Hello! Good evening, Meow. Right here, Rajime. Hey, Ibuki. Uh, what's with those piles of cardboard boxes? <laughs> <laughs> Summer's all about fireworks. Fireworks? <laughs> Dirty fireworks disappear into the sky is a lyric from Christmas festive trees. Now, Hajime, let's carry these cardboard boxes to the beach, and I'll leave this setting up to you. Huh? All of this? Just the two of us? Oh, my, my. My, my. You're pretty gutsy, Hajime. Are you saying you want to be alone with me on the beach at, all, at night? No, I didn't mean that. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I also invited the others, like Shiaki and Akane. I see. I see. Ooh, excuse me. Everyone else brought all the fireworks here. We can just leave the rest to Hajime so Ibuki and the others can change into the Yukatas. Huh? Yukatas? <laughs> yes! Or as Sonia would say, Japanese Yukatas. If you work hard here, you can see Sonia, Mika, and Necro Maru all wearing yuka Yukatas. What the heck is a Yukata? Ellie must find out. I keep forgetting the Google app works on this phone. When I had my old phone, the Google, the Google app stopped supporting the device, so it wouldn't work, so I had to constantly use my Firefox um, loader. <laughs> what is a Yukata? A traditional Japanese summer garment that makes women look particularly beautiful. It is a type of traditional kimono, but more casual than convenient kimono. Yukata is popular among young women for dressing up to go out on special summer events such as a fireworks display or Bon Odiri dance festivals. Oh, well, it's glad to see, I'm glad to see Nekomaru is trying out new things. I see. Y Yukatas, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some give and take has been established. Wait, hold on. Nekomaru's coming too? If you find him, then why isn't he here right now? Nekamaru, who helped us out during the day. Now it's your turn, so I'll leave everything to you. Uh, hey, Ibuki! She didn't even hear me. I let out a sigh, picked up the cardboard boxes, and started walking towards the beach. It's not like I was lured by the Yukatas. Ooh. Pretty lights! Yahoo! A firework disappeared under the sky! Japan Summer... It's gonna be fine. There's no way the sparks will fall all the way here. 
God, my throat! Ow! Huh. This sure is fun! Hey, hey! Hey, why is Dekamaru shouting like that? Don't you know? That's what you do when the fireworks go up. Hmm. I see. That's pretty interesting. You go, girl! <laughs> huh? Was that... Okay, uh, Ziz? Okay. Hajime! Get, get him up there more! I know, I know. Oh. Hajime, once you finish launching that one, I'll trade with you. Enjoy the fireworks too. Thanks, dude. After having such a fun time, I returned to my cottage with a feeling of satisfaction. That was fun! I liked that. God, my throat. The Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Hmm. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Good night. <clears throat> It's not like I have anything I need to do, so I should just get some sleep for today. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. You guys? It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing meaningless time is bad or anything. Even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or want to forget, they all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So is it killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with, a, with that worry? <laughs> <laughs> Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. <clears throat> Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. That's what I should have said. Ugh. <sighs> 7 a.m. looking up in the morning, gotta get fresh, gotta see the bear! Ahem! Hope's Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! As always. <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing in my room? Good morning! Looks like today's gonna be another perfect tropical day! What the? <laughs> What a huge success! I received just a nice reaction! Uh, Buki, how'd you get in here? Aww. Jeez, Hajime, you're so careless! Careless? I made sure I locked the door! <laughs> and I destroyed that worthless lock! Why'd you destroy it? Hey, hey! Meh, who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you! What? <laughs> <laughs> Four hands. No, that was just three. Huh, if you got if you got time to nitpick others, then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. <laughs> I'll explain the details there, so I'm counting on ya. She's like a hurricane. But she did take the time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me. Did something bad happened again? I'm feeling a little desperate now. Depressed now. More importantly, she destroyed my lock. How and why? Hey Nagito. <clears throat> Hello there. Ah, good morning, Hajime. Even if you ignore me, I'm already happy that our eyes have met. You really are a kind person. Hey. Anyway, after what happened with Fuhihiko, do you understand what I was saying a little better now, right? What do you mean? You don't know? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say that it felt unpalatable to me. But Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. It's obvious. He used Peko's death as his stepfather so he could shine even brighter and cling to an even stronger hope. Ew. What? Huh? You don't agree? Well... But it's decided that what should... But it's decided that's what hope should be. That's why you and the others progressed forward. <laughs> Oops. We should chat later. We need to be at the restaurant soon. I'll go on ahead. How long does he plan to keep saying such foolish things? I actually kind of want to give a gift to uh, Nagito. I, I haven't really hung out with him. Oh, oh, oh. 
Neopet, Neopet, Neopet. Oh, another, another snake of me. Do I have to like bring the hope meter like really high to get something different? Cause I, I seem to keep getting snakes. <clears throat> hey, Nekamaru. <clears throat> oh, it's you, Hajime. Were you also summoned by Ibuki? Yeah, seems so. She broke our lock! Has she been going around waking people up? Did she break the lock to your room too? No! No, that never happened. I was awakened by a knock at my door going at 337 clapping with them and some shouting. That sounds extremely annoying. Was I the only one whose room got broken into? Huh? Prefer her to go to the trouble of waking us up. What in the world happened? I have a very bad feeling about this! Let's make haste and head over! I'm... I cannot shout with his voice. It... It hurts. Like, it hurts. Oh my... Oh my god. Sonia! Good day. Good morning. I'm so glad today's another clear sunny day. Another? More like... Actually, now that you mention it, ever since we came to this island, it hasn't rained once. Why is that? No, it might be best if I don't think about it that too deeply. That sounds like a clue. <clears throat> when I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was... Everyone's backs is as if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. I got something I want to say. Oh damn, what the fuck? For you, Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Well, it be okay. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuriu. My first name is pronounced Boo Yu He Ko. Um. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. That is completely out of left field. Just what the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing really, just greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet I feel like that was the first time Yuhiko ever greeted us. <laughs> um, an eye patch of yours. Nothing. Ah, uh, it's it's nothing. There's no way that's nothing, since that eye is no longer. So you can't see out of it, huh? huh. <laughs> it's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I've gained some prestige or something? However, Fuyuhiko, why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Honestly, I'm surprised you don't understand the position you're in right now, fucking Hiyoko. Hiyoko? Yeah. Do you really think he'll forgive you that easily for what you did? I mean, I forgive him. Understand? Don't you get it? It's your fault my hero is dead. No, not just my hero. Pekko died because of you, too. Hey. It's all your fault. Um, Hiyoko, we've finally been able to get together with everyone. And? Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. Shut up. There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. He's my friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's my fault. I already know that it's my fault that those two are dead. You. Are you planning to give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezed those, out those words, for you, he goes suddenly collapsed to the ground. Up. Oh. For you, he go. Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me. Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just drop to your knees and cry? Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. The fuck? Wait, he's pulling blood and laying out the sands, huh? This is... No! Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! Fuego has slit his own stomach! Huh? What? Are you saying he cut open his own freaking stomach? That's literally what she just said. What the? What, what are you doing? I didn't think I'd be forgiven with such a half-assed apology. A half-assed oh. apology. But if I don't 
you do this. My feelings won't feel resolved. It's so... Your voice is so quiet compared to the music. <laughs> you fool! That doesn't mean you should slice your stomach! We must carry you into the hospital as soon as possible! You're right! Kazuishi, let me a hand! Yeah, it's your thing! Stop it! I can walk there myself! There's no way you can walk! <laughs> Even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again! I feel so ashamed! In the end, I made trouble for everyone again! Well, who cares about that? Let's go! The others carried for Yuhiko out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were left there... Well, this is awkward. How should I start up the conversation? Well? Hey, Hiyoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What did what Mahiru say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would Mahiru say? What would Mahiru say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... What? It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. So when we were forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we'd know how we're supposed to deal with it. <clears throat> oh my goodness. We're not that strong. Hey. Hmm. This is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Uh, now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her not to join us for breakfast. Hmm. Um, I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? I mean, hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. I'm not worried about her. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast, soon after we all decided to return to our cottages. <clears throat> I never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for us anymore. Three time! Wrong button! Never be too safe. Mm. Oh, wait, no, report cards. You need to check the report cards. I almost have all the hope fragments for Gundam. If I didn't want it, I wouldn't have selected it. The influence gauge recovers over time during concentration fever time, effective during the non-stop debate, the hangman's gambit, and panic talk action. No, not sure, I'll get that. Melodious voice. Increases damage to the opponent's when statement is destroyed. Yes! Vocabulary. Increased bullet capacity, effective during the panic talk action. Yes! Sharpness increased by two. Effective during rebuttal Shona. Cannot be combined with fine sword. What's the difference between that and fine sword? Increased max speed. Effective during logic drive. Lost in thought. It slightly increases the time limit for each phase. Yes, please. I need that. I'm gonna see what the skill lists I have. Can I increase? Can I like select all these right now? Or do I have to wait until the class trial? Uh... 
I realize there's always a f these, those few students I end up not talking to. <laughs> they even changed this guy's freaking photo. That's amazing. All right. <sighs> I'm gonna see if there's like anywhere else I can. Hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hang out with with uh ne Nekamaru. No, Nagito. Nagito! Blam. <laughs> Fuhiko is so admirable. Great. Such attitude, such moxie. The title Ultimate Yakuza isn't just for show after all. Yes. You can invite- you can hang out with someone like Nagito. Hang out with him! <laughs> I actually want to beg you to spend time with me. After all, everyone else hates me. I spent time with Nagito today, but I was a little frustrated by things he says. <laughs> yes, definitely. Always. Presence. Presence. But what would Nagito like? I have an idea, but I'm not sure if it'll work. Actually, wait, 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 I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea, I got another idea. This is... Hmm, this is quite interesting. Thanks. Thanks, I'll take good care of it. Does that mean he liked it? Wait, did I... Are you serious? Did that do nothing? It... It did nothing? Oh, come on, man! It's fine. Maybe I'll get it on the next go-around. I want to see if I can find, like, the other Monokuma statue- or er, plushies. In the other parts of the second island. I mean, I- there's, like, one that's still mi- actually! I remember, 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 I remember. Dang on. Run pot to all plushies. It's a bit. I don't know if this counts as cheating or not to folks, but I really don't care. First Monokuma can be found on the beach. I already found that. In the top of the aisle in the pharmacy, right where the cursor is? But I checked there. There was, there was no plushie. I'm walking here because I need to level up. It's always good to level up your characters. It's never a bad idea. Sometimes it's good to take a walk and just appreciate your sights. The very, very pixely sights. Pharmacy! That's the diner. Pharmacy, 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 pharmacy here. Okay, so... Where is it? The second... It's gonna be found on top of the aisle in the pharmacy right where the cursor is. The, the things don't disappear after, like, you finish the chapter, right? I... God... 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 Ah. 
There doesn't seem to be any... Fuck! Wrong button again. I feel like I have to look back at my footage to see if I missed it, but... Maybe I haven't gotten the one in the beach house? It's worth a shot anyways, right? Okay. Load already, damn you. <clears throat> what? It's back to normal, like nothing happened here at all. Did Monica come to clean this place up? But the killing that happened here will never disappear. It can never be undone. <clears throat> cool, great. Can I not go in there? Are you serious? You cannot be fucking serious. I didn't select. Okay, good. Let's see where everyone is, I suppose. Nagito's in the library. Again. Kane's in the Bridge Central Island. Music venue. These two are inside the hospital. out with Chiaki. I like it, the Chiaki. <clears throat> Chiaki! Huh? huh? What happened? Are you bored or something? Yes. Hang on. Invite Chiaki. Hello? I'm bored too. Let's think of a way to kill time together. Hmm. Huh? Oh, we can kill time together with that, I think. I kill time with Chiaki as we thought about different ways to kill time. Yes, yes, yes. Gift, 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 gift. The fun box. Ah, that looks like something I'd really enjoy. Yep. Yep. I'm happy. Thanks. Is she sleeping again? Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and rest? Morning. Uh, no, since you're here, let's talk. <laughs> if you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. My adventure ended like this. That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half asleep. That's honestly me whenever I try and talk to friends on Discord at night. It's like, I should be sleeping, but I really want to talk to friends. Huh? Huh? I can't believe you don't get my Shadowgate joke. Hey, if you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. Mm. I want to go to a fun place. A fun place, huh? What would be considered fun for for Chiaki? <laughs> the park? How about the park? When you're playing a game at the park, all the kids just gather around for no reason. There was a game you only play in the sun. It's very difficult for adults and shoutings to play. Okay, um, supermarket? 
Yep. I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Chainsaws are the strongest, though. It sounds like fun, so it's fine. I don't really know what it means, but I guess it's fine if Jockey's okay with it. She's talking about zombie games, isn't she? I should have guessed that. Jockey and I walked to the supermarket together. We walked through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival. This place has too much of everything. Hmm? What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These sweets look cute. Oh, those are sweet rice cake crackers for Girls' Day. Man, this place seriously has everything. I see. They're called sweet rice crackers. You eat them during Girls' Day, you know. Huh? What's Girls' Day? Huh? You know, it's on March 3rd. You're a girl. Didn't you celebrate with your family? <laughs> that face. Ah, crap. I'm sure she has her reasons for not knowing, but even so, I... Uh, no, it's nothing. Forget about what I said. Um... Nope. I don't really mind. I did have a family. My father. You had a father? And your mother... No, I shouldn't ask about something like that. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. So what's this girl's say anyway? It's a doll festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for girls' health and success. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different colors. Mm. I see. <laughs> That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. It's nothing, really. I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this, but for her not to know what girls' day is? What kind of past does Yucky have? It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey. Let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about a place I can take Chiaki after that will make her happy. Finally! An actual fragment! Chiaki's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Nice. I took Chiaki back to her room. Otherwise, she'd just find a random place to fall asleep if I let her. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's getting dark outside. It's night time already, huh? That fell fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, a day passed by abnormally fast. Eh? Doorbell? Does that mean someone's here? I cautiously walked over to the doorbell and a door and opened it slowly, worried of what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya. There she is again. <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you. You know, since we've already exchanged nice to meet yous. Ibuki. You again. That's totally it! Allow me to apologize for surprising you with this sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's a lot better than last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So, what do you want? Um, um Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? Yes! See? This thing! What the... That's, to that's totally a girl's hand, right? Right. What do you mean? It's a basic font with a basic color thing around it. <laughs> it's a fucking Teddy Typhoon. Let's see. A recovery party for Fioki at Teddy Typhoon at 9 p.m. What is this? Is it Monokuma's doing again? Why How rude! Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just just brought the invitation. <clears throat> Ibuki just just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave you to it. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Goddamn that! Freaking that on my microphone. <sighs> huh. Um, two D Typhoon is that music venue on the third island, right? Huh. 9 p.m. That's in 30 minutes. And even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? After all, he slit his stomach this morning. But well, she took the trouble to do this for, out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. Well, where else would I go? Let me just check on the... Not, not that one. 
Always make sure to clean up the poopy. I am very much out of tune. Jesus. Um, boom, bada boom, bad boom, bada boom. How is it daytime here? It was nighttime earlier. Hey guys, Nagi Nagito, Ibuki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored. But since everyone else is also going to be there celebrating Fuyiko's recovery. No matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. Uh, you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. This too Tonight's constellation. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic! Now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy. Who cares anymore? I care. He's cool. Several people have already arrived at the music venue, but... Fuyuhiko? Why are you here? Huh? What? Is it bad that I came? No, not that. It's it's okay. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so. They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I couldn't come. But I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So. I'm not overdoing it. Jeez. Fine then. Just let him do whatever he wants. But. But. Huh? It's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerance down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhika probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Hiyoko definitely didn't come. Okay. That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane's not here too. What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, right when Nekomaru expresses unease, that's when it happened. Whoa, what the- my. Oh my! Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was. Hey, y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks for coming out today! Glad to be here! My specialty is making beef stew! <laughs> I may not Zip it, look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better! I hope you're all pumped up! Just as I thought. That's what she's going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician, after all. You can't imagine what else she'd do at a music venue. Alright! I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy! So, put your hands together for... From me to you too! Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band, that dominated the music charts. I can probably look forward to her musical stylings. I think From Me to You was actually... 
Was that in the soundtrack? I can't remember. I remember there was like a really, really, really good death metal song here. Let me check here. First, this This girl. Where is it? Set. Last round argument. We should last round argument. So, not net. Dive down. First time justice. You meant hyper ultra PTA. Welcome to Dagon Island. You know Go despair. Island. Love the survival. Papa Monokuma. Art class. For me to you. Featuring Kabuki. Yeah, that was in the soundtrack. I think I know what's coming up next. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> okay, no, it was just the first one. I thought they dubbed over Ibuki's like screaming <laughs> with the English voice actor. <laughs> This is really good. I hope I don't get claimed for this. I hope I don't get banned for this. I'm enjoying this. Thank you. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm gonna get C U R S E D. What? Such an overwhelmingly bombful resonance. Even my four dog Dave as a destruction looked less lively than usual. I'm starting to feel chills. With a little highlight from me to you, I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was... Um, creative differences. That must be why. Why is everyone so, like, upset about this? I thought that was great. <laughs> Yahoo! It's awesome! That's the first time I've ever heard such a famous song! Kyoko! I'm glad. Ah, you came? I'm not glad. Huh. So what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But... But if you're attending Fuyukiko's recovery party, that means... You've already... That's not it. Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey. Cause he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people like, like tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry so he can try to trick us. Please wait. But there's no way that that is possible. No, I get why she'd think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why you were ne never going to believe in you. You know what? I'm going to start believing in him out of spite for you. I don't like you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's going to get cut off. Yeah, we're not doing what she says, dude. 
It's when you and me, I'm gonna cut her off. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. You nasty pig Ew, bar. don't cry. Pigs have no rights to cry. You're grossing me out. Can I bash your head against the stage? No. I hope you die next. I see. Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? No, she's fucking not. The old Hyoko. There's no way she would have ever forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Gross. Hey, what are you looking at? You. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Anakuma. There's no way he's not going to try anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring. Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. Yay! Come on, Ibuki. Hurry up and start the next song. Roger. Thanks for writing. Let's go right ahead to the next song. Huh? There's still more. I don't think that's a bad thing. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance too. I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. What kind of title is that? Stop it! <laughs> oh, hey, what's everyone doing here? Whoa, Monami. Hey, don't interfere. I was, so, I was enjoying such a fun party, too. Whoa. I wasn't invited to the party. <laughs> yeah, obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. The party was already ruined the minute you showed your face. What? Double gasp. Whoa. But seriously, now's not the time. Now's the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? Akane. Akane is... Emergency. Akane is dueling Monokuma. What? What did you say? At this point, Akane's gonna be in danger. Please do something to save her. Okay. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. <laughs> that stupid fool! No, I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake for not keeping my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have properly grasped my... <clears throat> I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Damn it! This failing will haunt me for the rest of my life! Or my name is Nakumaro Nidai! Um. Now's not the time for regret. Let us make haste. Of course! Damn it. Puhiko finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! Oh god, my throat. Hey, Monami. Where's Kane and Monokuma? Uh. Um, they're at the beach where we first arrived on this island. Please hurry. If you don't, Akane's gonna get killed. You don't have to tell me. I'm going full speed ahead. See? You should hurry too. Nakamaro bolted for the, from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him. And we followed him soon after. <coughs> ah, my throat. Jesus. Hey, everyone. Hi. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this epic comfort. If this were a song title, it'd be salt seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. She's right. I should hurry, too. <clears throat> Doing that guy's voice... Oh my god. Uh, it's just like what that what I said. I can't stand any more situation where someone's singing. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> There's no time to spare. I need to hurry over to the beach at Island One. Okay, yeah, cool, great. Give me a second, Neopad. Again, it's still sunny out here. What the hell's going on? Is it because of the lights of the city? I don't get it. Bro. Wrong way again. Oh, I got an achievement. Walking the walk.
Hey, Chucky. Hey, Chucky. What are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Oh, Calm down. Huh? Well? It's true we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is... Hey. It's for the sake of saving Akane, too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm. I think... Yeah, got it. I'm okay now. Yep. And let's go. Well, alright. After running there at full sprint by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane, looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! We're why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane, it's just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine. It's designed for combat. It's probably capable of. I can't. I can't do his voice. So I'm just gonna do Gundam's voice. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she he says she can't even grace him with her attacks. Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see. Don't fuck with me! <laughs> Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life. <gasps> no, you can't! You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. Yeah. It's just a little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anyway. <laughs> You stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Huh? huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework! Make sure you sear it into your eyes! Oh, well, Mega Buster. Then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This! is what happens when you break the rules! Disappear! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, God, that face! The world shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding scenery had, and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white, and within that white, I heard a voice. Uh, uh, Wait for it. N Nekomaru, why did you s save? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. <laughs> However, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to. It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> Dude, you said that's impressive. How the fuck are you saying you're the worst? Get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru. Akane, the time I've spent with you, it, it wasn't so bad. Don't die, Akane. <laughs> Oh, damn. Wait. 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 Are you kidding me? Ah! Nekomaru died! 
through. That's... You gotta be... There's no fucking way. What? What? what, what? Holy crap! Instead of the rule violator, Akane! What the hell? What a major failure! I ended up killing Nekomaru, who had nothing to do with this! Hey! Hold on! It's faint, but his heart's still beating! He's not dead yet! Huh? And he got her and cheat him! Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekomaru like you saved me! Hey, hey! That's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules! Well? Then let's just say... Then let's just say we're even. Huh? <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekomaru was a sacrifice. Yeah so isn't it okay to say we're even? Hey. You're not gonna save him? Jeez. Guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died of his death. So... So, for today only, I'd like to make my special trump card. And that's when it happened. Siren started ringing out of nowhere. And it gradually came closer and closer. Oh, uh, this again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. He even recycled the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat. So, I'll see you later. They just wanted an excuse to use that, didn't they? And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nakamaru vanished from our sight. What? The hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's gonna be alright, right? Nakamaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course, he, of course! He's obviously gonna be saved! Uh, but for Yuhiko finally returned to us, I cannot believe Nakamaru was gone too! No more! I can't stand this anymore! Hey! Hey, you can stop yelling. Screaming won't help you now. Cuz, 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 cuz! I'll go! This isn't cuz. This is what happens when we let our guard down. Oh, let's talk about everyone getting along. We were just fooling ourselves. <laughs> we were just pretending to be understood. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one after another. And I hope the next one is you. It won't be any be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never gonna rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Uh, Are you saying it is meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really if it really did have meaning, Nekomar wouldn't have ended up like that. Uh, he ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. He ended yeah. up like that because he's a good friend. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. So, basically, you? Hey. So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. Please do. That is... Yoko, William Akane will not help solve anything. Huh. You don't have to worry about Coach Nekomaru. Huh? Huh. Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. Oh. Akane, you're not worried about Nekomaru? There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nekomaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's gonna die from something like that. There's no doubt. Nekomaru is definitely gonna come back. So when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize for him. Because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Akane. I'm just to say it. I hope, I really hope Yoko's next. As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When Nekomaru was, when we saw Nekomaru's tragedy happen right in front of our, of us, once again, we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wonderful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus the nightmare continues. Super! Monokuma's Super Fable Story 58! A Tengu came from the mountains! A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengu showing up. 
The Tengus apparently did as they please, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is this really the Tengus' fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus live? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now's the time to rise up against humans! We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free! Bring it on! Monokuma Super Fables, the end! Weird, okay. Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! <clears throat> As usual, well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted in the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Well, the story demands it, so... To the restaurant I shall go. Theo oh, Hiko! Hey, dude. Yo. Oh, it's you, Hajime. Huh. Even an... Such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it. Nekamaru. What that bastard mean by his final firework? That line's more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nekamaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs. Just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. Are you. Shut up! Don't say another word! Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Yuhiko. Well, this is depressing. Hey, I leveled up! Get the poopy. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> hey. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, morning. See? Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Ekamaru. Come on, feel better. Just because you say it doesn't make it easy. Hmm? As I walked to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> oh no! I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Is someone crying inside? No shit, Sherlock! Let's go! Mikan? Or is it Hyoko? It's obvious. I think it's Akane. I think inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. Why do they have to recycle the same goddamn voice lines? Uh, Akane? You're the one who's crying? <laughs> I I'm scared! What's gonna happen to us? <laughs> I'm scared! What happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekumaru? What the fuck else would she be? But yesterday she was acting braver. Hey, Nakito. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see. Hajime, be careful! That's probably not the real Fuhiko. Huh? I know the real Fuhiko was already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. You, what are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekamaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come soon as a replacement. Excuse me? <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. You... are you messing around? It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right? In order to prove it, I'll explain it especially to you. Listen carefully. Listen carefully, Hajime. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know the true identity of the world ender? The traitor who was hiding among us? There's no mistake. Byakuya! That's right! Byakuya is alive! He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? 
He's probably definitely alive. Probably. Hey. Hey, it's definitely if we keep if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. So. I won't be satisfied until I peel his skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't ident identify him anymore. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> that idiot. He lied to me about my hero being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. Why... Why is he telling such a pointless lie? <laughs> I don't know. I, I hate being lied to. Jeez. I won't feel satisfied until all his joints are bent at awkward angles. I... You're a, you're a little shit, you know that? <laughs> what happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry... Cry, get a grip on yourself. Don't tell her that! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekamaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nekamaru was dead yet. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> uh, let me go home! She must be so shocked that Nekamaru sacrificed himself for her. I don't know, there's no way that explains it. Change this sudden and drastic. Yes. Pardon me, everyone, but do you have some time to spare? Hello, my name is Ibuki Miyoda. Um, what the fuck? It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. I Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Moida. Aren't you acting strange too? Wait. Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime is dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. What are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see. So it is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? I think, like, this would be better in, like, a... It would be fitting if I if if her voice was more robotic. It seems like it, anyways. Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? Um, Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. Got it wrong. That's not it. Yes. Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Why have you forgotten me? I'm Mikon Sumiki. <laughs> Anyways, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead. Ibuki, uh, just a second. Understood. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my hand onto Ibuki's forehead while she continued to sprout gibberish. Gibberish? She's hot? Someone on the internet thinks so. What is this? This heat is abnormal. Yes. That's right. She has a terribly high fever. Then could the others? Akane, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so weak. I placed my hand on Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She must have a high fever. There's no way that a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too. I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. Once again, I got the same result. What? Huh? Are all three of them? Ha Do all three of them have fevers? And the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency. My Emergency. goodness! That's obviously bad! Monokuma! For him to appear right now, does, does that mean this... Just a minute. Wow there! Can you just wait a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too! As Just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered ha all had confused expressions plastered on their faces. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on. Has something happened to you guys? Now then. Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. Wait. Hold on! Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nekimaru? Hurry up and return to him first, you robber bear. Hmm? Nekimaru? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? You stupid Who the heck is that? Nekimaru doesn't have a weird ability like that. What the Jeez, fuck? Shut up. Ew, I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious life energy. What the fuck? Well, man, 
now that I've shut the, the nuisance, let's go back to the topic at hand. Though, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. Not really. They're not quick-witted. So, so, it's just as I thought. The true identity of this high fever is... That's right! That's right! This is the new motive that I've given you! It's the despair disease! Okay. What the? Despair disease? Actually... You know, there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's true. It's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Hmm. Anyway, the endemic disease spread like these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> despair disease? I never heard of such a thing. Well... Then let me... Then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is... A really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is afflicted by liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease. I guess. What? They just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities, except for Nagito. Hey, um... It's not like all you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful! Sometimes despair disease can get passed from person to person like a cold! Huh? You mean it's contagious? <laughs> don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease! It'd be awful if everyone got sick! That should have been the motivation for 2021 or 2020. Like. <sighs> get vaccinated, people. Hey, 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 hey. Let's run, Miss Sonia! It'd be terrible if you caught the lowly disease of the common folks. <laughs> That's right! Let's run away! I don't want to catch up to the weird disease! Why? And why is that a motive? Are you saying that killing will occur soon after everyone falls into a crazy state? <gasps> Isn't it this quite a novel idea? I can't wait! I can't wait! A killing wait. that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality! Think of all the murder tricks! Is there any way to treat it? Why? Why? Is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. Yeah. It's a disease that cures your soft heart. Your soft hearts towards killing. And with this, you can fight. <coughs> <coughs> Ow. Ow. Jesus Christ. I might cough off blood if I'm not careful. And with this, you can fight. Take the plunge and commit murder! You, you bastard! You better stop talking about this bullshit! <laughs> it's all my fault! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm always bothering you! Right. I decided, as an apology, I'm going to commit murder! Are there any charcoal bricks get somewhere? Um, Am I supposed. Pretty sure I found some at the supermarket? Stop it! Kane, Nagito, Ibuki, you guys stay polite! You're wrong, I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito Colt Maida is a fake name. I'm sorry I kept it a secret till now. Understood. Oh, I see. What the? She's believing him again. So serious. Amazing. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> despair, 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 despair. It's amazing. You should all get it too. We're all done for. Let's, there's no such thing as hope. We all have to die from this despair disease. That's the only way. Well, P's dead. Whoa, Whoa he collapsed. <laughs> Naito? <laughs> <laughs> now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease? Or even before that? Bells, bells, I'm so bells. excited about it. I'm just going to stand around naked. Bring it on. Just kidding. I'm always naked. Oh. Ow, indeed. One can only handle so much Monokuma. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Dragon Puppy Lover. But yeah, honestly, doing that, doing any voice for, for a long enough time really starts to hurt. Hey! Damn it! Naked Mario's incident just happened, and now this? Where did that peaceful mood that lasted till yesterday go? <laughs> this is bad! Nagito is foaming at the mouth! He's, she's right! i never even seen foam that color before! Impossible! Is that... It, it's an merely rare color! 
Normally, it's only found in the depths of the Netherworld Sea. Is he foaming blood at the mouth? In this case, the color doesn't matter. So let's hurry him over to the hospital. Got it. All about. Please wait. Um, what should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, bastards, can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate the movements of my left and right leg. Correct. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'll walk, so don't leave me. Then let's go. With the disease in tow and Nagito, whose condition was clearly worsening, and my throat slowly dying, we rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? There's a possibility that it might be passed along? What the heck? I mean, what should I do? Um, put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. I, I will go make the infected change their clothes, and then I'll have them sleep in the patient's room. Understood. Understood. So I just have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> I'm scared of changing. Anyway, everyone else, please wait here. Okay. As she's supported all three of them with her shoulders, Mikan despaired into the depths of the hospital. Okay. Damn it! Damn it! I never expected us to get sick. What's going to happen? Let me tell you this. This is literally 2020 all over again. I would not mind if not get over tired permanently. Maybe. If Mikan got, if is Mikan gonna personally change their clothes? <clears throat> What's wrong with that? Doesn't that include Nakito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark devas of destruction. Hey, hey, hey. Don't lump hamster into teenage boys together. Um, hey, is this stupid conversation gonna last much longer? Hey. Shouldn't we be seriously thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? I hate to say it, but she's right. What we need to do from now on, hmm. Well, what is it? Get at least... I guess let's talk to everyone. This too must be the This will disease. Of it resembles an illness the Demon King once unleashed long ago to wipe out a large country. <laughs> there is no reason it would work against me, the Supreme Overlord of Ice <laughs> Cool. I am worried about those three, but is there a chance that Mikan will catch it while she's tending to them? We should consider that too. Wear a mask, get vaccinated. Maybe. But by any chance, is Mikan gonna attend to all of Nagito's needs? Damn it. Damn it, this is a dilemma. I don't wanna get sick, but I'm jealous of that disease. Now is not the time to say stuff like that. <laughs> you fucking pervert! It looks like things are getting pretty strange. Even so. But now it's not now's the time for us to do our best. We need to stand firm until Nekamaru comes back. Don't overwork yourself too much though. Your wound hasn't fully healed yet. Huh. <laughs> I can't slack off now. Jackie. Manakuma said the disease was was spread by insects we can't see with our eyes. Would bug repellent from the supermarket help? Z sure looks dangerous. Nakito, Akane, and Ibuki aren't acting normal. If it spreads to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But, but those guys aren't being considerate. They want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. I I hate you. I hate you. I I hate you. That is <laughs> Hey, Hyoko? <laughs> I know, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. Make sure? What do you mean? Which cockroach said that? Jeez, why don't you get it? Oh, God. We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. Isolate? Ew. If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. And yet most of America doesn't. But, but still, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? No, it's not really. Hey, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. You're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. 
Hold on a second. Hey, hey. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Chuck, you don't tell me you also agree with... What is so bad about quarantining them? If we manage to find a cure for the disease, then not only does it not spread, but they get better. Like, what's the downside here? That's wrong. It's to prevent a killing. As long as the death disease is Monokuma's motive, if we just ignore it, the killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to spread the disease from s prevent the disease from spreading. <laughs> Jesus, that's why we need to quarantine them. Like, even if we quarantine them, who's gonna take care of them? <laughs> Minkan's gonna stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she already caught the disease. But, but there's no way we can leave them her by herself. Hey. And why don't you stay too? Huh? huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. <laughs> so I'll leave the rest to you. Talk to me if something happens. C contact you? How are we supposed to do that? Jeez. Oh, right. We need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep meeting in person, we could catch that. Ah, fucking bit my tongue. That's like the third time the stream. You catch that disease. Hey, you. So, how would you handle that, Kazuichi? Uh. Y yeah, got it. Fine. Fret not. We are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Nearby? There is a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Aww. What? Do we really have to stay at such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. This is the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> we must be vigilant about protection. Maybe I have the disease too. I have those who I must protect. You. They're just hamsters, dude. I'll destroy you! <laughs> that is an unkind thing to say, you fiend! How dare you call my four Dark Davis of Destruction hamsters! Jeez! Fine, I'll just... Stay at the motel, okay? Jeez, how annoying. <laughs> Even if it's a quarantine, we're still gonna be on the same island, so just call us if something happens. Huh? What? What are you frustrated for? I don't like this. This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is so desperate. It's a separate. <laughs> Maybe I caught the disease. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to fall for that? It's not like we've stopped being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. You can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know? You know, right? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together here, you know? That's right. Because if it happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Hey, Kyoko, what did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off? And? What's wrong with that? Huh. This, this must be that moment. It's not like Mikon and Hajime are enough people. Dude! Why are you letting her push you around like this? You. Are you saying you're gonna stay here too? Huh? You too. <laughs> this life of mine is a spare anyway. <laughs> Fine, then do whatever you want. Hey, Fuhiko, are you sure you might be endangering yourself, you know? Jeez. Hey, don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey. You're really, really okay with this? And I'm gonna leave the rest to you. <laughs> Whatever hap whatever's happening over here, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry. I am sorry. <clears throat> I am sorry we are forcing this upon you like this. No, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think... I think, probably. I'd really prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. Um. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I'm counting on you. <laughs> and uh, I'll make sure to figure some way to communicate later. Doesn't the supermarket have walkie talkies? Bye. Bye bye. Do your best and try to stay alive. And just like that, the others left. Left. Leave me a few Hiko at the hospital. Great. <clears throat> I never expected it would turn out like this. Jeez. It's not like it's their fault. It's that bastard Monokuma's fault. I 
can't believe he'd actually arrange something as irritating as a disease. Uh, hello? Ah, thank you for waiting. <laughs> you, they finally finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. Uh, uh, well, why is it just you two? Huh? Um, you know. Uh, I know. They must have loved to get fruits to bring back later. <laughs> Everyone is so kind. I'm so glad everyone is so thoughtful towards their friends. Well, well, like I said, <laughs> we're all equals when we're sick. Let's all work together and do our very best. Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. And so we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are three people who caught Monokuma's despair disease. Akane, Nakito, and Buki. There's also Mikan, who's nursing them back to health. And as a safeguard for Yuhika and myself, all together, six people are staying in the hospital. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuichi, Sonya, and Hyoko are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nekamaru, he is not back yet, but anyway, until we get do something about this spare disease, our current situation isn't going to change. We have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Well, let's hope you find like a book or something, because... I don't think this is going to be uh, stopping anytime soon. Uh, I suddenly woke up, and if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed it with Fuhiko, and we decided he'd, we'd take turns resting. <clears throat> That's right. That's why I came to the on-call room on the second floor to the hospital. <clears throat> I haven't been sleeping well the past, past few days, and so a sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. Did I catch the disease? No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Oh, Jesus! I can't breathe. What the fuck? Mikan. Oh god, she got the <laughs> she got the disease. Move! I I can't breathe. You <laughs> can't tumble around. Huh? What the fuck is going on? Hajime, are you okay? Your complexion is a bluish purple shade. It might be a severe cyanotic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. He got, finally got off of me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. What the fuck? Hajime! Uh, Hajime, you regained consciousness. I'm so glad. I thought you died. Me too. I seriously thought I was going to die. I'm sorry. sorry. I thought I would take an arrest in the one on-call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. <laughs> then I'll be on the bottom next time. That's seriously not what I'm talking about. Hey, hey. Hey. You... What are you guys doing? Will you, Hiko? No, this is... I really hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. Were you guys sleeping together? Bastard. You dirty, rotten bastards. You guys are fucking high school students. Seriously, you've got it all wrong. Damn it! We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. Danger? What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. Huh? Huh? Ah! This is bad. Now it's not the time for us to rest. Ikon vigorously leapt, leapt out of the bed and ran out of the. What's Damn going it. on now? Hajime, now's not the time for you to be pitching a tent. We need to hurry. Seriously, I'm not. For you, who can I? Chase after Mikan as she ran into the Na Nagito's room. <laughs> the Nagito's room. Uh, Nagito, uh, please get a hold of yourself. Despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Don't tell me. There's no way he he died, right? The body's discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Hey, fidget, fidget. Excuse me. Damn it, he's totally waiting for it. Damn it. This looks very bad. But what was that just now? Fidget, fidget! What was that? Despite Mikan's desperate cries, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Uh, 
Mikan, it's Nagito, all right? Uh, uh, um, it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey, hey. How light is that? Is it sweet potato soft? Well... If so, that's pretty light. Uh, uh, Please don't interfere! Hey. hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right. He might be trying to say something. Wait, what? <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear towards Nagito's lips. Oh, it's midnight. Oh, Jesus. What did he say? Um, Apparently, his condition has improved, and he feels quite refreshed. Um, since Monokuma said that Nagito has the liar disease... <clears throat> sorry. Um, since not Monokuma said that Nagito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite and actually feels really crappy. Like... But what's going to happen if he just dies? We're not going to have a class trial, right? <gasps> Don't talk like that! Yes! Nagito is never going to die! I will save him by any means necessary! I see. I see. Got it. Then I'll leave Nagito's life to you. Yes! Yes! Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending Nagito. She's caught the disease. I am sure of it. If we stay here any longer, she, we might just get in the way. Damn right. Then follow me. While you were resting, the goods arrived. I gotta show them to you. The goods? Aren't something dangerous, right? Anyway. Let's go to the lobby. God, this is starting to hurt. Yep, let's leave. Oh, cool. They had like little signs on the rooms, too. That's cool. Anyway. The goods we were living in the lobby. Let's hurry up and go. Oh, okay. That is still terrifying. I don't like that. Oh, the camera and the... That? Hey, Fuyuhiko, what did you mean when you said the goods? Damn right. Look on top of the reception's desk. On top of the rece... Where else would it be? Nice. Fuyuhiko is talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor and camera unit. Hey, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Oh, excuse me. Does something happen when it blinks? Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button just below that light. I just have to press the button. I did what few you go said and press the button. Hey, What's it's up? the pervert. Hey, is this Hajime? <laughs> Loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi? Then this is... Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. Right. Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? Is this what I've been working on? <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking street booths? That's where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for household use, and I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? Get it? It's true. We don't have to worry about getting infected like this. That's right. Yeah. A lot of folks in 2020 should really take this advice. Just saying. So, it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This is only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty funny. Okay, then. See you later. Huh. Kazuichi left this while you were resting. Damn right. The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcasted live to the monitor. So he prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their cameras. I see. And by swapping the cameras, this monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently, he also modified it a little. He widened its narrow communication range beyond this house, just household use. Even so. But even so, he still had a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel? <laughs> You didn't notice? He was contacting you now from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right. I thought the same thing, so he arranged times for us to contact each other. 
is set up for the communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. Well, he's prepared. He's expected of the heir of an enormous organization. Huh? Hmm? What is it? Nothing. Don Ming Mong. Is it really just now nighttime? What the fuck? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Wonder if I should get like an alarm now for for like Monokuma. <laughs> that would be amazing. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? Hmm. Are you planning on using the on-call room as a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looks like. Hey, hey, are you misunderstanding? A hospital is a facility for sick people. So it's not for lo lo lodging your young romantic trice, you know? You too? What are you talking about? Don't you have cameras? Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of habit of looking at bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? Dude, you've observed this before. Why didn't you bother reading it? A bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating, drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight, stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words, right. It's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There is no one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? Then I'll allow it. Just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Nice little precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Mekon leave. Jeez, you're pathetic. <sighs> really? I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mekon, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. Still can't find those... There's always going to be that one plushie that I miss, isn't there? I'm a little worried. <sighs> Crap, hold on. So if you and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight, I'm a little worried. No one... The, no, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mekon alone. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. Don't know what else you'd do. Okay. Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class! Today, we're going to learn how to make taiyaki. The first thing you'll need is a time machine. We will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Sejiro Kanabe, or Kanbe. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately, they never sold out that well. It's important that you gently cheer up him up because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that he try making his pastries fish-shaped because they'll be so better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. Oh, <clears throat> jeez. And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you've finished making the Taiyaki. To you by Monokuma. This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. <clears throat> oh, man. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Indeed. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. <sighs> I'm worried about Mekon and the others. 
I should hurry over to the hospital. Yes, let's. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. <clears throat> Yo. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nahito's room and check on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry. Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? He's not that bad. He's just a little cuckoo. Still. Here we go! I just want to appreciate the fact that they thought this was a good idea. Like, this looks like something from an amusement thing. Why is it here? <laughs> it's known as the thing called here called, called heaven. That's very ominous. Alright, let's go to the to room two, I guess. Hope nothing bad happens. Oh, vomit bucket. Mikon, how's Nagito doing? Uh, Same as usual. No. Well, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad! Are you fucking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse, I'll never let Nagito die. Yes. Ever! I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Hajime. It's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. By the way, how are the other th two doing? Like, are they okay? Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. What about the other two? Are they gonna be okay? Oh! He has a little little hospital yes. thing. Excuse me, you don't look so well. Did something happen? It's nothing, I'm fine. Understood. I understand. You are fine. And I am not going to worry. You wouldn't be strange if a Gugi got worse like Nagito, huh? I mean, it's, it's it's not a big deal. I just want to check up on him. Hey, Akane. Hey, <laughs> Akane, what happened? You're making a scary face. I'm sorry. It's all because I'm weak. But is I making a scary face? Your worry is showing up on your face, you bastard. You're just going to keep scaring her. Let's go already. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I wonder how Nekamaru is doing. Maybe I should just wait until the communication's done. <clears throat> All right. Incoming signal light is blinking. Let's click it. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. Bada bing. I press the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor is instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello? <clears throat> Hello? How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end, too. I can totally see your broke-ass faces. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Nope. We're all here, except for Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> <laughs> it seems we all look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of that coward. Um, she has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So, how about it? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that... 
To tell you the truth, Nakito's actually in serious danger. I already know he's seriously dangerous. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. Sorry. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However... But he's going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? Hey, hey! First Nakamaru, then Nagito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. Yes. You really can't say? That's impossible! But Monami, why are you on that side? Because um... it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital, since I don't even know what's going on there. You are really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! Please don't discriminate! That despair disease is horrible! It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island! So, until we figure it out to deal with it, I will be on this side. Okay. Before I could respond, Monami's Fuhiko had... Before I could respond to Monami, Fuhiko had cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That shitty stuffed animal! She seriously pissed me off! <sighs> Damn it, I'm going outside to cool off. I don't see what's so annoying about Monami. She's just trying to be sure that everyone's okay. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. Or until someone gets murdered. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. Is something gonna happen eventually? On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko went in and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. It is now 10 p.m. When's the murder gonna happen? Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Damn it. It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over and now it's nighttime already. Yeah, it did. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez. We should go back to our cottages th when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not gonna have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave you too. I'll leave it to you. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, hi. Whoa, Ibuki! What are you doing here? You need to be resting! Yes. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would be just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yes, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. Hope she gets better real soon. Oh boy. That is honestly scary. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan? Hey, Mikan! No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned towards me as she focused on caring for Nahito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Looks like you finally noticed. Ah, please don't surprise me! I almost got wet! Wet? Um... Uh, did you come by to check on Nahito? I just wanted to see how she, he's doing, but you look pretty tired now, too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um... um I hope... I hope... I'm not mistaken. That'd be pretty embarrassing. Are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. She's working so hard. It'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. 
That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Yo! Yo, how's Nagito doing? <clears throat> I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez. Oh well, pathetic. let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. Yep. <sighs> My worries have piled so high that on one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that. First thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time, and slowly closed my eyes. Well, time for another- Never mind. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. In the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time hazily, like watercolor paint suspended in water, slowly hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've been to have seen before. But I don't know where I I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Is it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope Speak Academy. But he, was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I dully I'm dully staring out the window. Of course they were noises. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? <laughs> know what? Apparently, you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that that was possible. So he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. Oh my goodness. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just, I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? What are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Am I? Okay, now Monokuma Theater. What the fuck was that? Hey, hey! Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So, I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. Hey, same here too. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself, so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those just by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he really could see the letter when he started hawking everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. Then eventually he was worshipped by society. Now he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my, thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, want to buy this vase? <laughs> it's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. Hilarious. I get the joke. Hmm. It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's so much so- Oh my- Are you serious? Wait a minute! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I, I can't believe it! Mikon, 
again? <laughs> <laughs> How did she get? What the fuck's going on? Hurry up and move. I, I, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh my god. Why is she here? Suffocation. Mikan, why are you. Why are you here? The Monokuno announcement hasn't aired yet. Huh? Now that you mention it. I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? But good news, you see, Nagito's condition is stabilized. Really? And I rushed over to get you guys. Let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so. Oh, yeah, my lock's still broken. Thanks, Sabuki. Anyway, please hurry over. Nagito can probably be saved. Yeah, got it. Again, I bit my fucking tongue. I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped for, for some reason. Like, for someone like Nagito. Oh well, best not to think about it. No one in this game ever thinks. Nagito is in his patient room. Please hurry and see how he's doing. All right, all right. <sighs> okay. Terrifying. Dead. Not big surprise. All right. Oh my god! There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. He's also drooling, like Ibuki. Nagito, can you hear me? Hajime came by to see how you were doing. <sighs> the twin Ibukis are singing. I see Ibuki must have been a twin duo. <gasps> the Veronicas. Is he supposed to be cured? Well. It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical situ condition. I almost hit auto. Shit. They were, they were utilizing their characteristics as twins, and they've been ta taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. The Veronicas! That's the answer! Hmm. After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for a little bit longer. What if he's actually telling the truth? And he's just really woozy. He... Oh, but I'm so glad. I'm so relieved Nagi to remain conscious. Regain consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad! <laughs> I feel dizzy. Somehow everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Um. Then if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, and then, even though it's morning, good night. Nikon wobbled around a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, that's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come to wake me up. Man. All alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <sighs> yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. This is why people ship these two. The morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait at the lobby for the transmission. Huh? The surveillance camera unit slide is blinking, but that's weird. It's not. Tr it's not transmission time yet. Well, something important must be happening. Come on, let's go. The light's blinking. It receives some sort of transmission from the other side, right? That's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. Must be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Free Ego gets here. All right, even though it's just me, I should receive the transmission. 
What the fuck? What the fuck? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying dim light is shining on the back curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But that... But what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, what the fuck? The end of the rope was tied in a loop and beneath it there was a stepladder. It was like a gallows. What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? And what? That's when it happened. Oh no. What the fuck? The moment I saw Silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. Please tell me that's not who I think it is. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving and began climbing the stepladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached the rope hanging from the ceiling. Why are you standing there watching? Are you kidding me? And at that moment, oh no. Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black. Probably because the candle, the, the only source of light, had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other side end of the monitor. What the heck is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over there to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. Please tell me Ibuki's not dying. She's one of my favorites. No. Ahem. Hope's be good. Now then. Yeah, cool, great, cool. Just now, that was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. I don't have time to wait for him. I gotta get to the music venue. Please don't be a buki. 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 If it's gonna be anyone, please don't let it be a buki. Don't let it be a Kane. And no, no one should be dying. Oh god. Oh god. Please, please let me make it. I rushed into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. I bit my tongue again. I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. Don't be who I think it is. God. My God. I was too late. What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anyone coming? What is everyone doing? The body discovery announcement. That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed yet. So then I need to hurry and get the others know. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able body people who can help me there. I should hurry. I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying to desperately not to trip over my own feet. That was a buki! Hey, somebody get out here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. I was wondering who was making such infernal racket. So it was you. Gundam, something awful has happened. What? Don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the pathological bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you. Excuse me. I won't let you. If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. Um, what happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found. Could it be? A body? Yeah! yeah! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Hold it. Hold it. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is! Isn't it obvious? Chiaki, you have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But 
But there's no way we shouldn't check it out. Because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? A uh, killing? If that's true, we need to check it out. If that's the case, I will not stop you. Leave this place to me, and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Um, that sounds like famous last words. Chaki, can you go? Yep. Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Yeah, let's go. Hajime! Uh, Hajime! Mikan, why are you here? Perfect timing. Please help us, Hajime. Help us? Ah, hey, hey. uh, Hajime, someone is coming from over there. What? Hajime Shiaki, what are you guys doing here? Pyuhiko, why are you here too? No shit. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Ibuki. Looking for Ibuki? I uh, am... Oh, no! She was one of my favorites! Oh. I was planning to rest in the on-call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. And Ibuki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? Perhaps. So that's what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Everyone, let's hurry. Hmm? Hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask. Just follow me. Music venue? <laughs> is Ibuki going to be there? She is there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did it have to be Ibuki? I was just getting to know her, too. Damn it. My wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. Is Ibuki inside there? The only way to know is to go inside and confirm if that hanged body is really Ibuki. Let's go. I clenched my teeth and reached my hand towards the door. Huh? huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through the air just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Then why don't we try to from another entrance? Nope. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? I don't understand it myself, but if it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Mm. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? And that matters why? It's got nothing to do with you. It doesn't matter if you can or not. We have to try. Damn right. Thank you. Let's go. We'll charge at the same time. Ready, set, go! At Fuyuhiko's signal, we charge into the door at full force. Oh, the door moved. Maybe it'll move easily after all. Yep. Yeah, even with just two girls here. Let's go. All right, one more time. At Fuyuhiko's signal, we charge into the door one more time. It was a live performance that just, just ended. At the moment of silence, just before the audience breaks on the thunder's applause, and a few minutes of silence, a scream surfaced. Yeah. Wait, what? 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 Oh! 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 Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! There wasn't just a hanged body! There was also another body, suspended body, belonging to Hiyoko. Well, I got my wish! I feel... I feel terrible. A body has been discovered! Two, to be exact. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Hey, it happened again! A body has now. Yeah, 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 we get it. <clears throat> Two bodies discovered announcements in a row. That means. The hanged body with a hemp bag on its head. Yoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. No kidding! What? Hyoko and who the hell is that other wearing the hemp bag? Do you not recognize the long hair? It's Ibuki! Could it be? Could it be? Two victims? B but when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hyoko's body. I only saw that hanged body over there. Not even ten minutes passed, but still, why? 
What is this? Impossible, 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 impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Shut the hell up. Shut up, idiot. This is just... For now, we should lower that person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just sa too sad. Yes. Yes. Uh, but what about preserving the scene of the crime? Damn it. Who fucking cares about that? Um. There's a control panel for the baton lining on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body with that. That one. But Yuhiko ran over the, to the wing of the stage and pressed a button on the control panel. With the motorized sound like the growl of a starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? It's a bookie. I knew it! I knew it! Oh! She was my favorite! She was one of my favorites? Oh my god. Oh. Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront the reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to... Ibuki. Damn it! Damn it! I saw my phone! If only I did better job watching. Watching over Ibuki. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one the fault is... What's the matter? Jeez! It feels like someone died in here or something. So you finally showed up! The Root of All Evil! What the heck? How dare you call your big brother the Brood of All Evil! I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you! Bringing everyone? Ah! Ah! Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? Ibuki and Hyoko? What? So two people have been killed. What? Well there! That's not at all. I've also summoned the other just who were at the hospital. The others. This is troubling. Looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. D damn it! I can't believe they did such a horrible thing. Nagito, Wakane, are you okay? Huh? Huh? Of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? No way! Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Hey. Over? Yeah, because I got bored. That's... For that silly reason? <laughs> and now that the killing has started. There's no need to keep the, that motive around anymore. Yeah, that despair disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What'd you say? Oh, jeez, I'm starting to burp again. What the heck? That's impossible! How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Ah, oh, who cares about the itty bitty details? The matter is that it's already been cured! Yahoo! So let's get back to our main topic and proceed as usual. Yep. See ya later! <laughs> I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate! <laughs> again? Cannot be. We have to do this again? Silence. We have no choice. Like last time, if this means one of us kill these two, let me tell you then we cannot this. let this be. Uh, why do we have to do this? Damn it. Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. Damn it. If we don't do anything, we'll be all we'll all be executed. <laughs> what do you hear? Abandon your open dependence and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. But what about Nikumaru? What's gonna happen to him? Is he not gonna be participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> Nikumaru! Huh? That's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? Looks like lingering after effects of the despair disease is nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. This is bad. Since you had the liar's disease, your after effects could be lies. Maybe. Leave it to me. Please leave Nakamura to me. Everyone must focus on investigating, so I must do my very best. Alrighty. Alrighty. I will definitely bring back Nakamura and win everyone's trust. Um. It seems we should leave Nakamura to Monami. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? Damn it. I'll... I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um... Um... It's... It's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. Um... Then let's get started, so we can end this nightmare for good. 
That's right. We need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for those two's sake, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. Huh? Well, I think I'll end the stream here right after I finish all the dialogue. I've... Like, I've been putting up with this for a while. But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. Is it because your clothes are so smothering? Ah, I seriously can't stand it. Why don't you guys investigate this place? And so Kazuichi left the music venue under a cloud of grumbling complaints. But it really is hot. In fact, it's swelteringly hot. Why is it this hot? <sighs> no, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. There are two victims this time, Ibuki Moida and Hiyoko Seonji. Ibuki Miyoda's case of death was crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hiyoko Seonji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp-edged tool. It appears to be death once instant. What the? This is it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Still a clue either way. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. It's the structure of the games at this point, honestly. I agree with that. Or was there a reason that they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... I will definitely find the truth behind this case. That's what I think. Seriously, I'd prefer- I'd really prefer if she had more confidence sounding catchphrase. Alright, I think it's about time I leave this stream here. That fucking took forever. And oh my god, it's almost 1 a.m. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Hope you all guys enjoyed this stream. Thank you to Uenduno and Dragon Puppy Lover for, for joining the stream tonight. Y'all being here really means a lot to me. Even if you didn't stick around for long, seriously, thank you so much. Hope y'all have an awesome evening. Ciao!